Ahoy, landlowers. It's me, your captive Vasco, speaking. Welcome to another installment of The Darkest Dungeon. Of course, we're nowhere near the titular Darkest Dungeon because it requires level 6 heroes, and the sole time we've taken our level 5 characters out, one of them died. And basically, it was just a complete disaster. Um, today, though, we're trying to level up some level 3 characters to provide some more options for building level 5 teams. Obviously, that means we're a couple steps removed from where we want to be. Um, but, I don't know. I'm moderately optimistic. I put together a team last night. Let's actually take a look at them real quick. Um, so, at the end of last night's stream, uh, put together a team of Man-at-Arms, Grave Robber, uh, Plague Doctor, and Occultist. But we were planning on challenging the Brigand 12-pounder. And after, like, putting some real thought into this, uh, I don't know that the Plague Doctor is going to do as much as I want it to do. Now, we've had some issues in the past where, uh, most of my, like, level 1 boss fights were, like, pretty much, like, going off without a hitch, and then, like, sometimes when the difficulty increased, uh, the staying power of certain elements of the boss fight caught me off guard here. So... With the Brigand 12-pounder, uh, i.e. the giant cannon, is basically what we're talking about. Um, I don't recall for certain, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be resistant to Blight and Bleed, because it really doesn't make sense for either of those to affect a big cannon. Um, so I think, perhaps instead of the Plague Doctor, whose damage is largely focused on that, uh, I would actually like to bring uh, an Arbalest. Now, now hear me out on this one. Hear me out, because I know you're probably thinking, Now, Vasco, we've talked about this. You have a problem. You like the Arbalest too much. But he here's here's the plan I have in mind. So first off, I need the Arbalest to be in fourth position. Because what I'm looking at doing is I want to give uh, a Coltess... I want to replace the de Demon's Pole... Uh, a move that I generally like, but I don't think will be super important for this type of battle, with the Sacrificial Stab, uh, which is just like a pretty, like, decently powered attack move. Um, and this is for the purpose of... So the, the deal with the, the, the Brigand Cannon is that it requires someone to fire the cannon, so it continually spawns new Brigands, the sort of robber guys, uh, and... If you kill them off, which is what we did like the last time I encountered this, if you just keep killing them off, then they can't fire the cannon. It's kind of a tedious process, and I think it will be more difficult at level 3 than it was at level 1. Um, but I think part of the plan here is to have characters with as many options as possible for targeting um, different uh, positions, so wherever the guys are spawning, I can try and take them out. Um, so, instead of the Plague Doctor, which, by the way, what trinkets did I have on the Plague Doctor? Uh, moving these manually kind of sucks. Oh my, just, please, please video game one time. One time, don't do the, great, good enough. Okay. So I'll deal with Arbalest Trinkets later. First I'm going to look at skills, because I actually think I'm going to be changing skills on a lot of these characters, based on the new thought process. So for one here, um, what's the one? I guess it's this one? So Bolster. Um, with the Man-at-Arms, he does have an interesting move that I basically never use called uh, Defender, which lets him absorb the damage going to a different ally. Like I said, it just doesn't seem to come up most of the time. Plus, uh, the the cannon itself, I think, is is able to fire at basically all positions. So, like, I don't think it's going to matter that much for this type of situation. So, instead of that, I think I would actually like to take on uh, bolster. I mean, you only get to move, uh, you only get to use once per battle, but adds dodge to a target, which is kind of similar to protecting them. Um, but also remove stress. So, like, he can act as, like, a super, like, budget stress healer. Um, Grave Robber's fun. Your moves are great. I love your work. Um, Occultess, like I said, I want to give the, the dagger 
So I have like abyssal artillery to attack back characters, the stab to attack like front characters, and I want to hold on to the mark uh, so that the sniper shot from the arbalest can sort of combo and do damage there. Uh, meanwhile, on the arbalest, I think I want to keep the healing and suppressing fires good for uh, like stress dealers wandering around the dungeon. But I think I want to replace sniper's mark with uh, bola because it has knockback, so I might be able to like knock the cannon crew members out of their position so like i can maybe like jam someone in the wrong place or uh, move back the guy who's supposed to fire the cannon um i think that's the idea so let's uh really like getting characters off the card at level three it's nice when everything's just upgraded it's, it's just i like it so, we'll start by... Okay, uh, cultists we need to unlock. And we're gonna upgrade. We got, we got money. We're good. Don't have, like, an endless supply, but we're doing pretty well. Let's leave that there. And, uh, just want to upgrade, uh, bolster. That's not bad. Even if I only get to use that once per battle, like, I'm basically never using the other move anyway. Uh, one last thing I don't want to forget is that the new Arbalest character doesn't have their gear up. So that's, that's the, that's the plan that I'm looking to take into this dungeon against, uh, Brigand 12 Pounder. Uh, at the end of last year, I was sort of already hesitant about the team. I was like, this doesn't quite seem like what I want. And we'll see if this fares any better. Uh, I think we should be all good to go. So this is in the wheel. There's like the shallow graves and stuff. Uh, we already get free shovel to start with, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna go full stack of shovels because between uh, just like general barriers and shallow graves, there's plenty of use for them. Um, let's go ahead and bring like a lot of food. Do I want to go full 24? You know, I think I actually do. I mean, I have like one character who can do occasional stress heals. <laughs> General barriers. Indeed, Cotillion. Also, welcome to Demolition, Ice Bunny, and Cat. Uh, showed up while I was trying to go over that logic of what I had decided to change. Um, there are like the locked luggage on the pathways so i'm gonna get i'm gonna bring like three keys which is too many keys but it's been a really long time since we got a critical scouting chance and uh i don't know i got a feeling we'll see what happens that's the least i could do demolition i'm sorry that you're having such a rough time sorry lots of people are dealing with some rough stuff well don't worry ice bunny we're gonna go hurt something real quick just gotta make sure i have all the stuff needed so that they don't hurt me worse uh so let's see Mm, there's only like one character here I think that really messes with our torchlight I'm still gonna go 15 torches and then uh, what else do I want what are like the random things that you find on the pathways here I think holy water is okay I'll bring one of those and then, like Bandage, medicinal herbs. Great. Love it. Okay. Let's go fight a cannon. I like the, the cannon boss. whispers of heresy roused the rabble to violent action. Such was the general air of rebellion. General air. That even my generous offer of gold to the local constabulary was rebuffed. Uh. To reassert my rule, I sought out unscrupulous men skilled in the application of force. Tight-lipped and terrifying, these mercenaries brought with them a war machine of terrible implication. Hmm. Speaking of terrible implication, is he not suggesting that... So, like, I think part one of the canon lore was basically like, So, like, I started doing stuff and the townsfolk noticed, and they weren't happy. And part two is like, they weren't happy, so I hired some people to bring an enormous cannon to fire at my own people. Uh, cool. The smell of sulfur 
and gunpowder hangs in the air. The war machine is close. Huh. Okay. Mostly straight line, but we're not at one end of it. I think we will go north first. See how that goes. Oh, it's gonna be one of those days, huh? That's why we bring a stack of shovels. A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Hey, look at Pack. That wasn't bad. I'm having, like, pretty good results from just, like, general, like, packs lying in the road. Alright, I accept this scout. Pretty sure that because of the weird trinket we got for the grave robber, yeah, they now have a 120% chance of disarming the trap. Got a good feeling about this one. Hey, look at that. Worked out. Thing. So Packs cool. laden with loot That's cool. are often low on supply. We're gonna get a scout chance? Maybe see if we bother going to the end of this path? Nah, never. Never scout chance. You have forty percent scout chance though. Ooh, I like dodging the trap. This team at least promises success or whatever. Burn it. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave. I have a feeling this one's gonna be a battle. Like. Hey, look, a battle. Okay. Um. So, what's the deal with your resistances and stuff? You don't particularly care about almost anything I could do, right? So, in that case, what's the scariest thing I can be doing to you? Damage minus 10, damage minus 15. I guess flashing daggers uh, can damage two of them pretty well. It's a lot of health on the big. Uh... Let's use retribution and see if we can finish off middle guy. And then if anyone attacks man at arms, they're in for a rude awakening. The uh, offensive. Meanwhile, why don't we mark the big one so we can sniper shot it down since it is big enough that it occupies the second space. Ow. Don't big slime me. Not as much as I wanted, but not bad. Uh, okay, this is good against marked, right? Sweet. Marked bonus. Wow, that was... That was disappointing. Hey, why don't you heal yourself? Yeah, four damage. That's apparently what I'm talking about. The, the 23 critical quakes. hit, that's a little more like it. That's 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 in the rail mode. Oh wow. Now it just died. It. Got itself killed. That's fun. Yeah. Monster Smash em. size has Smush no em all. intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination hey, be considered a virtue. Well, I'll tell you what, if we can get the fourth antiquarian we need, we will do the antiquarian mission tonight. I am excited for it. Uh, also, welcome to the stream. Yeah, the, uh... For, I, the extra mark damage on the throne dagger is something I still don't, like, actively think about. But that was a nice bonus there. I always like having the grave robber open the, the coffin. I mean, it's, it's like robbing a grave. I feel like I should get a bonus or something. That's not so bad. Look gold, at all that gold. Trinkets and Look models. at all that glittering gold and those trinkets Paid and whatnot. For in blood. Oh, good. Random encounter right away. Hello! Oh, it's the Collector. Well, twisted faces of welcome to this stream, everyone. Piled high and cloaked in malice. Uh, so let's see. Blade Resist is, like, in normal parameters. Do I think he's faster than Arbalest? I don't think I want to mess around with him. I think I will stab him. I think I will stab him! Bring, 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 phone call, phone call. There's everybody. Hi, everybody. Um, so... The character has not been as scary as I remembered him sort of being. I don't know what that will end up meaning as levels increase. The post feels like it's something I want going on. Uh, 
I think I want to just stack some flight on this guy if I can. It's pretty good. I like, I like dodging. Dodging's good for me. Yeah, free damage. Yeah, protect that guy. I'm not super... I'm not, I'm not about that guy. I think I do want to mark this guy. But then I gotta have the occultist actually do healing sort of what he's here for. Uh, do I have any particular feeling about who might get targeted by them? I get a sense of whether Bolster like does it. You know what? Let's bolster the occultist. Oh wait, this buff target, but it's, it's everyone? It does to everyone? But it didn't Affect anyone's stress. Am I reading that wrong? Um, fire! See, that's the kind of damage I'm looking for. Please don't. Whatever. No, that's fine. You can do that. How about a thrown deck? Yeah, I kind of thought that would be He's often blind to its own peril. See ya, everybody. It was nice knowing you. Well, not really. Oh yeah, we got a trapezoid. This Check out my sweet trapezoid. I bet you're jealous. Oh, it's uh, it's minus percent stress. That's dumb. I hate minus percent stress. Uh, Ditto says I took took two level five antiquarians on a max difficulty long mission. The short story was it involved mandatory backtracking of 12 rooms over three hours. They're level six and he made over 65,000 and have three level six antiquarians. Well, hey, you're just one level six antiquarian short of doing the idiot thing I want to do, except in the darkest dungeon. So that's got to be the next step for you, right, Ditto? Yeah, we, we do literally just need one more antiquarian to have, like, three antiquarians of low enough level to do a uh, an apprentice level dungeon together. Stupid ambient stress. Yes, eat food. I brought extra food for the eating. And we got some good stuff over there. Wow, it's an obstacle this way too, huh? That's that's neat, I guess. Uh, shovel. Nature herself bars the way. Yada yada. This could definitely be going worse. I would have liked if that raid of encounter that we hit on the way back wasn't literally the collector, where I could have reasonably spent some more time healing the occultist, but uh, we'll be fine, maybe. Uh, these things are, like, flight resistant, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So I think I just... Flashing dagger. Please, heal yourself. I mean... Technically... and stun the big one. It didn't work. Uh, slime Slag? Is that the one that summons new slimes if there's space for them? How quickly the tide turns. So they're all gonna do the fart escape, huh? I don't like that move. Exposed to a killing blow. I mean, I wouldn't call it a killing blow, but I'm annoyed about it. This is that make any kind of difference. Uh, try to heal self for real now. Okay, one death. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Feeling a little better. Uh Retribution! Man, 
man, don't don't you try to mark Duncan. You know what happens when you do that. He smashes your face in. His name is Duncan, and don't you forget it. Um oh, that's a good throw. Yeah. Destroy them all. Yourself? Oh my goodness. Let's get all these out of the way, huh, Tess? How about that? I think our best shot is just to shoot at it, probably. I'd prefer it if you didn't do that. Honestly, if I can be honest with you. Okay, please heal uh, the Grave Robber for an actual amount of damage. Thank you. Ah, that's me. Ditto, Ditto, Ditto really understands how to use the, uh, the rename feature here. I'd like to rename Duncan to Mark. Ah, uh, well, I don't know what that's going to do to our uh, actual, like, in-combat effects in the future, but I have a feeling he's going to be less effective. Either that, or he's automatically marked and mad about it. We'll see what happens. Not quite. It's got a few hit points left. Okay, and the Arbalest. Oh, do I want the Arbalest to try and take it out? Yeah, it's the last one going this round. I don't think I want to mess around with that. The victory. Perhaps the turning point. Maybe a turning point. I don't know. Seize hmm. this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Take Onyx over Emeralds. It's like slightly more likely to stack. Bandage stacks. Uh, just need the gold? Maybe take the gold over Emerald. It has the same value, but it's like way more likely to stack. I think that makes the most sense. The gems I, I find that I'm usually only eager to take if I have like free inventory space. They're like the first thing I'm likely to drop if there's, like, anything actually happening. Um... Well, I got a scout chance. Oh my god, another obstacle? Yikes. So this one usually has a map in it, but that's not gonna do anything, right? Okay. This one is anti-venom, right? Did not bring one of those. Okay. Torch for stress purposes. Eating for food purposes. Uh, hmm. I hope we get a scout somewhere that shows us what's in this room and whether or not I care about it. Size contents are mine. A small quantity of gold. Hello, encounter. Ah, I spooked him. That's good. There's so a cross-country flight today, ditto, for over 150 miles. Wow. Rest, though. That's crazy. Should heal Grave Rock. Now, I believe I would like to light Cultist Enchantress. I don't think that's the name she always had. It's the name for the leveled up one? Uh, what if I shot you? Still not quite enough. I think she survives with like one hit. Unless... I retribution her because she's not in fourth position. Got it. slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Oof, that's rough. I got a critical hit and he dodged. That's like the worst possible outcome. At least that one got hit. I think I'd like to play this guy. Death How did that happen twice? How did twice in a row that character land a critical hit on me and my retribution did not hit him? That is extremely rude. Well, he's Press dead now. Give them no quarter. How about some weird reconstruction for an amount of damage that isn't singular in digits? We're on my last nerve test. Not even that far in the dungeon.
does too many critical hits and also too much shenanigans. Uh, I think I want to try and get a little bit more healing off. All right, weird reconstruction. 28 is a lot more like it. Now, now we're probably. Uh, I think I will spend. Yeah, that's right. A little bit of extra healing. A little more action. And whoever's left, we'll just smush him. Just smush him! Eradicated. Alright, I'm leaving these behind. Later. Confidence is a slow and insidious yeah, box. Oh, I'm sure that if there's anything in here, it's gonna be a pain in my butt to figure out what to take. Yeah, that checks out too. Okay. Scouting, maybe? I got a pretty good scout chance. We'll try and save it for closer to that weird branching hallway. So hungry today. Look at my hungry boys and girls. I've already gone through a full stack of food, and I'm like a little over halfway through the dungeon. That pack's been looted. Wolf. Oh boy. Oh, that's extra annoying. Oh, and in first position, the Grave Robber kind of sucks. Yeah, I always forget that Battlefield Bandage has, like, the weird buff that does more healing in the future. It feels like it rarely comes up. Wow, this... this sucker -roos. Um... Let's get rid of the dodge on him, since he sucks. I'd rather they don't embrace the dark, actually. Spooky lady. Arbalest, I think, is on shooting this guy duty. Yeah, I, uh, I hate it here some amount. The birthplace of dread. Let's move closer to where I want to be. Don't, don't do that. Stop making creepy hands at my occultists. Okay. Wow, really? Howl again? M mostly dodge. The horror. Uh. Oh, she's not stealth anymore. Um. Darn. I was kind of hoping that would help. Actually, what if I rampart back into position and maybe stun him? Well, I didn't do any of the things that move does. I hate all the stress. The cursed champion falls. The problem is, I think she does something like annoying in first position. She doesn't normally do. Uh, does she have a bunch of dodge? Oh, she's got like a bunch of dodge. I'm gonna mark her too. Definitely don't want to be like fighting this fight forever. So become sick. Please stop. Thank you for that dodge. That dodge like reduces my IRL stress. Uh, I'm gonna spend Arbalest turn healing because Man at Arms is uh, taking a beating. I'm gonna just <sighs> really just wanted to smush her. Before she goes first this round. It's not like I could have used my sniper shot on her anyway. It doesn't work. Like that. She does so much torch damage. I hate this thing. A jerk. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Well, deeds. I'll take success. It. So clearly in view. Uh, so or is it merely a trick of the light? Can's probably over here. By the time I reach there, I will basically just be done with the place. So I think I just torch up now and camp close to there so I can in reduce radiance, stress may we going into that victory. battle. Prepare and whatever. Oh, good. It's another one of that character I don't like. And also her friend, the giant tree-swinging fungus giant. I think I... I think it's best to get rid of this guy. It takes so much, like, work to get rid of the giant, even though he deals a lot of damage. And while she's stealth, I can't hit stupid Antler Priestess, whatever her name is. That hurts my feelings. I really hate how often uh, characters seem to hang on with like one hit point. 
Uh, you know what? I think I actually want Abyssal Artillery. Hits the back lady, finishes off that other one. Uh, I don't think I want to mess around with Attribution. I could do Dodge to maybe... Yeah, actually, I know she's going to do a bunch of stress. Let's do this. And increase the dodge chance on, like, getting hit with a whole tree because it always hurts and is miserable. Alright, um... Since I can't hit the crazy lady, I'll just start wearing down the giant on my, like, light, hopefully, except nopefully. Step fourth position. Uh, I think I just want to mark her and then have the Arbalest kill her. I think that makes the most sense. Next round, have uh, the Cultist heal. Please. Alright, I accept the gruesome overkill. Good dodge. See, that's why we do dodge buff. Become Blighted Tweak. Oh wait, he's like super resistant to it. Well, I got him anyway. Sucks to be you. Heal the man at all. I even got some of the stress. That's good stuff. Uh, I think just Sniper Shot. I could pull up. It doesn't really do anything. You know, let's just shoot him. A really big chance of stunning him. I think I just want to wear down his hit points more, so we'll hit him with crush. I like that he's attacking the one that I think just has the highest natural dodge anyway. Darn, I was hoping for a critical there. Chance is like pretty high. Darn. I think I just shoot him. Oh, good dodge. That one could be annoying because it can shuffle like everything. Uh, I'm going to heal. Well, at least he didn't bleed off of that two hit point. Uh, let's stab him. Light it. Throne dagger? Yeah, now he should be finished. He doesn't stand a ghost of a chance. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. I guess I will take ever. Scouting! Oh my god, another obstacle. And a secret room. See, I knew we were due for a secret room. Uh, open? No bandage, more deeds that stack. Neat. Uh, well, on the bright side, there's very little chance that I will need another shovel, which is good because, yikes. I was totally expecting this next one to be a shallow grave just to spite me. Press. Well, it was even stacked. I still have some space because I had to get rid of that shovel. I was all ready for it in my head. This is a, a nice bit of a reprieve. I mean, these guys can be bad, but like, they're easier to kill than most of the other enemy types in this area. Uh, what's the actual likelihood I kill one of these guys? It's not Wait, right, six to twenty. Yeah, it's just nothing. So I think I rather like flashing daggers, so like other people are more likely to finish them off somehow or other. Like Arbalest could now use suppressing fire to kill one and like Mortality decrease accuracy on another. Strike. So angry these dogs. Except that one moved to the front, so now I can't do that specific thing I said. Uh, Enter, please! I will... Retribution, but basically dead. Honestly, I think I have Arbalest, like, heal? Destroyed. This 
ich möchte. I resisted that. I thought I was going to kill him either way. Grievous injury. Is it necessary to grievously injure my Arbalest every single time video game? How about a self weird construction? There you go. Hi, Sarah. Welcome to the stream. Are other people having trouble hearing me? We've, been, we've had this mixture for a while and people have been pretty happy with it. Alright, Sarah. Glad to have you here. Gold! Alright, open the grave. There's not. It's just a dead guy in here. I don't know what I expected. Okay, so there's like treasure up here. Maybe the. What are my camping skills like? of medium. It's a little luck or something. I mean, I'm not, like, I can change it. It's just like, it seems like other people are fine with it, so I don't want to mess with it if, it if it's possibly on your own. So, like, pe people let me know if they need to change it. Um... This is tough. I wish I had better camping skills, but... I didn't uh, double check Arbalest before going out, but also I just don't think I would be able to get exactly what I'm looking for regardless with this group. Like, most of the characters have pretty much what I would give them, it just like doesn't accomplish what I need. The weapons practice seems like it would be helpful going into the boss. I'm kind of thinking that I will just like move on to here and camp there and then go to the boss. And then, like, come back for this, or maybe even just secret door later. Thank you for audio input, guys. I mean, it's difficult for me to check midstream. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna do that. If things go, like, really well, maybe we'll go fight up towards that treasure. But, like, no, don't do that. No, I got some food, I guess. Waiting to be spent. Uh, I guess I'll just eat it? I guess I'll just eat it. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, tour. I really need to do that. Alright, I, we'll, I think we'll get there. It's nice. Diffuse some stress. Being in this place is stressful. I hate it. No, it, it, oh, it's always worth asking. I just uh, don't want to over or underreact, so I want to try and gauge it. As it's going, uh, I think it is camping time. It's camping time! Tyrannosaurus! Uh, stress heal. It's a goal without hope. Okay, so. Kinda wanna prevent the nighttime ambush. Yeah, let's do that. Let's... I mean, it's a little more stress, which isn't great. But it's like, no nighttime ambush. And then we can use Gallo's Humor, which reduces own stress, and then, like, maybe reduces everyone's stress. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the good stuff. Then I got five points for... I kind of do weapons practice... I feel like weapons practice is like really good against the brig and eight pounder because it just means like more damage against the idiots which means you're more likely to one shot them which is really good i think i'm at a, a good enough stress level that i can do that i'm gonna, I'm gonna try that i feel like that'll be really good like 10 percent just raw damage to everyone like everyone's set up to do damage Oh, it's only companion. So it doesn't do it to him, but that's fine. He's, like, pretty good at doing that anyway. I can also pilfer. Did that give me... Did that give me a food? Does that count as a supply item? I didn't know that. I'll go to the stream, Neko. How are you doing? That's it. No sleep for us. I know that feeling. Right. 
The promise of that's, safety. It's me every day. Got a lot of gold right now. Darn. Let's see how much damage boost we got, and hopefully not just get a bunch of attacks before we get a chance to move. Um. Okay. I'm not actually sure if it's better to, like, do some damage to her or mark her so that the Arbalest kills her. In this case, it seems like it's about the same. Uh, that was cool. Man Arms can retribution that one. This guy will probably attempt to hit the Man at Arms if he gets a chance. Can't throw dagger that close. So pick to the face. Impressive. Nice. Uh, uh, let's just try and kill him. I could like heal for a couple points, and like that'd be nice and all. But it won't stop the bleed. You know what does stop the trifling victory? It's like using one of these but bandages. The I probably don't have this. That might be a good call. Where can I put these busts? Probably over the holy water. Might actually have use for two keys, so I'm definitely keeping those. Uh, but I guess I should probably just like use the holy water. Even though I don't think anyone does statuses that are relevant. Uh, always attacks Arbalest. Okay. Wish me luck. I uh, also definitely An forgot to put technology. trinkets on the Arbalest. Don't worry about it. An engine of destruction. Yeah, but stealth thing's gonna be annoying. I could have given flair to the Arbalest, but I don't think it's what I want. Decimated. I like being able to one-shot that with like a not critical hit. That seems good. in itself. I have the Arbalist shoot that since I can't hit the bad guy anyway. Just start wearing it down. There's a really satisfying noise when you like hit the cannon with the Arbalest shot. I think other attacks make that same noise, but like, and in my head it feels like shooting an arrow at the cannon probably shouldn't do anything. But that like clanging noise is somehow just right. Uh, let's do a little bit more damage and get some counterattacks on maybe the stealth guy or something. Uh, Nico asks, what is my opinion of the ham cheese cucumber Nutella sandwich? I mean, is that like a like a thing, like a meme or something? I've not heard of this. Uh, I like ham cheese. I can imagine cucumber being okay on that. I'm not generally a big fan of, of Nutella. Uh, I heal immediately. I think I will artillery. Oh, we're really messing up that matchstick guy. It informs me that sandwich smacks. Ah, uh, yes, my my assumption was correct. Uh, the cannon is immune to virtually everything. <laughs> I like that its attacks are misfire or reinforcements. Uh, Maybe, like, flashing daggers? Wow, that just, like, took out the stealth guy? That was way more damage than I expected. This is going, like, a lot better than I actually assumed it would. I'm just gonna leave the front guy alone at the moment, honestly. Or that could happen, that's also fine. Actually, that's really good, because I want to use Retribution this turn, and I can, like, finish that guy off. wary of that. Um, can I one-shot him again? Apparently so! And power. Yeah, that, that, what was it called? Weapons training? Whatever that was. It was good. It did good. Uh, oh yeah, let's mark. I think the mark will wear off this turn once it goes, so I'm gonna mark it again. Something Ditto loves along with the tuna, peanut butter, cayenne, banana, and onion sandwich. That... That sounds like a cursed sandwich to me, but mostly because 
pretty much all fish is a non-starter for me. Cayenne's kind of sketchy. Uh, onion, just... Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, look at that nice critical hit. Executed. Come on down! I would like to retribute you. I'm like healing more stress than I'm taking. I know these aren't like a stress focused boss team or anything, but it's still pretty remarkable. The everything in the fridge sandwich. It's a little like that. Uh, that time I didn't one shot. Uh, so I believe I would like to. St Actually, what does more damage? Uh, this d has 95% accuracy, but no damage penalty. This has a damage penalty, but is 100% accurate. I think I would like to stab. And then I would like to smush the hand. And then I would like to shoot it! The Arbalest feels like it has been the thing I wanted. I think, like, this would be going fine if I had the Plague Doctor, but I think this is more what I want. I stand by my decision. Um... I was hoping I would heal more than that, or I would have done damage. Alright. One shot? Jeez, Grave Robber's going to town on that matchstick guy. Loves throwing daggers. Uh, retribution to finish this guy off again. And then, shooter! Blow. I think we got this one, guys. Reinforcements! I like to imagine that the cannon is like some old, like, Disney cartoon, weirdly anthropomorphic thing, and it's literally shouting that. And I'll throw some daggers. It's been working well so far. The brigands are undone. Our think I'm done with you? Is once Sorry. again a symbol of strength. Oh. Didn't actually expect the rest of them to die automatically to these nightmarish creatures Stop can stone. be spelled. They can be beaten. I think I want or need these things. A lot of gold right there. I think, think that's fine. I'm gonna stay here though, because there's a secret room and I want those trapezoids. I'm all about those trapezoids. That's some top tier booty. Open the door. Do, do. Do I want to bother with this, like, path up here? I feel like maybe I don't. It just seems like a lot of work. Like, two more battles for, like, not as many prizes as the trapezoids, and, like, I'm already gonna have to, like, dump my whole inventory for it, probably. But what am I dumping for them? Like, mostly everything. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to the secret room. Stupid ambient stress. Oh, it's just spiders. Don't worry, guys. It's just spiders. Watch it get, like, critical stun blight disease attack off. I wish you would not do that. Uh... Shoot daggers? How much damage does that do? It has, like, a really small percent chance of killing both of them. But I guess the chance of, like, Throne Dagger killing one isn't a lot better. Eh, that was pretty good. Uh, weird reconstruction. It's not a great job of repairing my friend there, but that's okay. Um... Get rid of the one with more blight chance. Executed with <laughs> Exactly. Don't worry, it's just spiders gets three diseases. Someone's been watching me play this game. Uh, how much damage does retribution maybe do? Three to five? Yeah, I'm just gonna smush one of them. This one. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Pick to the spider phase. Imagine a spider so big. You As can kill it mount, with a pickaxe. So too will resistance. Um, at this point, I don't need oh those stack. At this point, I shouldn't need any of these like interaction items. 
Like, I want to keep the torches around to, like, minimize stress until I get there. But I really just need to hold on to keys and then, like, dump everything for trapezoids. So, that's the game plan. Ow. Guess it's not that far. I don't really need the torches. But it's not like there was going to be a surprise curio somewhere along the way. And just enough food because everyone is such a hungry boy and girl. That's right. All of them are all of them. Don't worry about it. Ah, choo! The darkness holds much worse than mere trickery and boogeyman. Look at all them trapezoids. We'll take these. This goes here. This goes face. Goes there. And keys have to be more expensive than torches. Great. Did it. Leave this terrible place. But that went about as well as it could have. Uh, says, I wonder how the Abomination character feels about the line, another Abomination cleansed from our land. Um, I mean, it's a little passive-aggressive. That's, that's for sure. Yeah, look at that. They're all level four. Wow, they're all level four. I didn't actually think they'd all get there. Oh, good. Obviously, Derp got a minus accuracy and critical disease. Uh, manic for money? Oh, what does that mean? These are some questionable... Uh, quirks. There is a great horror beneath the manor. Is it possible to do a dungeon only in darkness? That must be destroyed. Uh, well, demolition. I am not really sure how the actual darkest dungeon itself works. I get the impression it may be done largely or entirely in darkness, but in terms of like the dungeons that we are familiar with, having played through this, um, I, I think you like by default start with like a hundred percent torchlight, but you can like ditch it immediately and wander around in darkness so like if that is an affirmative to your question then yes you can do a, a dungeon with no light you just start with 100 and get rid of it uh what's that the coach no antiquarians but a level two bounty hunter i want to upgrade stage coach again uh, yeah, I still need, like, 39 more busts in order to upgrade the the last part of the sanitarium. I didn't realize that was actually the last thing in the sanitarium. I think I want to do that before I mess around with the Abbey, though. Um... More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory. Slightly better chance of getting that antiquarian we need. Of the damned. I kind of want Bounty Hunter, but I don't think I can take it. This is like Caltrops move even do. It's literally Caltrops. Uh, accuracy 100, damage negligible, higher crit, does bleed. And also, oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool move. Yeah, I think that's right, Ditto. Like, uh, when the torch is at zero, crit, critical hit chance by your heroes goes up by like a good amount. Mm -hmm. a good amount of money on that run. I think I should probably cure Derp's disease. It's uh I'm sorry, I have to go back for a second. There's an apprentice grave robber named Hot Hot. That's the actual name that no one in chat gave this character. It's Hot Hot. Uh, speaking of names, though... Uh do have to uh, have to honor Ditto's request to rename Duncan to Mark. So uh, it's been a, been a good run here, Duncan. Uh, I still think that you are destined for greatness in the Darkest Dungeon. However, your your name is Mark. You have been marked many times. You mark yourself. It's just it's how this goes. Um, so, unequip stuff. Is there anyone who, like, needs to be treated for stress or anything? No, no, not so much. It's pretty much like center for treatment, but I want to see where we're going. What 
this this the ancestor's pen. Plus 8% crit melee skills, plus 10% damage melee skills. I guess the pen is mightier than the sword after all. Yikes. I wanna... I do kinda wanna do a level 5 today. Ancestor's musket ball. It's like the same thing, but for ranged attacks. It's really good. These are both really good things. What's this? Ancestors Mustache Cream? Plus 50% blight resist, plus 50% debuff resist? This one... This one is not as good as the other two. The other two are very good. This one is confusing. It's funnier than the other ones, but it's not good. So what do, what do I want here? I want to go after the musket ball. Oh, I'm nervous. Um, so. Sanitary. Dirt. Get rid of the fits. Costs 600 dirt. That's like nothing. Yeah, do that, please. Okay. And then... What is the team that we want for the Warrens? Where lead is good and stress is a problem, so Jester seems well suited for that. Um, I want to bring hope. She's like the closest one to hitting level 6, and I kind of just want one of my characters to actually hit level 6. Can't muscle ball. Fired and lost forever. Ah, I see the problem in this plan now. Um, so I could do... Bring Sprinkles, who's also pretty close to leveling. And I could just bring the folks who are, like, close to leveling that I think were... I think this is, like, really close to the team that we sent to fight the Swine God before. But we would be going... to the Weald. And it would be a long level 5. Jeez. Are all level 5s long? No, not strictly speaking, but the ones that have good prizes are. Yeah, the party wide dodge move on Man at Arms did seem pretty good. The trick is just like, if it's the kind of fight where it benefits you to take a turn off like one of your main damage dealers to do it, and like that's just that's just like sometimes yes and sometimes no, but it's like a good option to have. I think it. I think I do like it better than the move I had before the like protect them or whatever the heck it's called. The opposite of protect me that the antiquarian has. I guess it's get down. Is that right? Uh, like, the thing I'm sort of toying with in my mind right now is I could, like, have my other sort of frontline character be the man at arms, and then I would have the option to, like, uh, have him, like, rampart from second position to first position and force. Uh, sprinkles the Hellion back so she could do breakthrough if I needed to hit multiple characters. Which is like kind of a good option to have. So I kind of want to do that. Uh, I guess the downside to that is then I don't have like the AoE effect of Q. Hmm. In this party, I guess I could have Hope take the uh, the de-stealthing move. Because when we were in the wheel just now, it was like annoying when I didn't have one. It's like that's like maybe the other main consideration for uh, uh for the leper. No, I think I like this idea. Like, bleed chance and stress heal and regular heal and, like, 
AoE option. Another thing, I'd like to take a closer look at if it bleeds. So if you have the Hellion in first position and you have this and Iron Swan and uh, Wicked Hack equipped, then you can hit literally any position with her, which is actually pretty cool. But in order to do that, I would have to get rid of Adrenaline Rush, which I think is fine. I don't use it that often. It's nice to have the option to, like, heal self for a little bit and get rid of Blight and Bleed. But I don't think it's super important, especially when we have Vestal, who's, like, pretty, like, legitimately good at that. Uh, so first two, first position. These are fine. Oh, breakthrough works from fourth position. That's kind of cool. Uh, do the, do the, do put everyone in the same place thing, so I can look at him. So I want to get bolster, I think, instead of defender. Th this is just the jester layout I like. Uh, I'm not super... I mean, I guess I could give him, like, Battle Ballad. It's just, like, a way to buff up the team if, like, stress doesn't matter, but he can't hit the first position. But then, like, the battle's already won. Like, if they're down to just one enemy, like, I don't care that much about that. So I think I'm just gonna leave Jester alone. Uh, unlock... Bolster, unlock the Vestal one, and then level those up. And I can also level up just skills in general. Uh, that one. Oh yeah, look at that. Trophy. I guess Sprinkles is the first character who... I leveled four skills to max on. I think that was the trophy. No, that's not the one I wanted. This one. And you know the moves that I like. And do illumination. Anti stealth move. This is the that one. So let's deactivate judgment, which is whatever. So, wait. Must be. I can't use illumination from fourth position. But. The Jester can't use, like, most of their attacks from third position. Uh. Hmm. Guess I just leave her with other attacks and, like, work around stealth then? Hmm. Guess I'll do that for now. I guess with camping skill, this is a long one, so I'll be camping twice. I think it's probably worth it to do that. To the survivalist. Okay, so bad idea. I think I did your stuff. Weapons practice. Maintain equipment. Wound care is probably worth getting. Uh, sprinkles. Courage is good. Revel. Debuff everybody but minus stress to all. Ooh, don't love that. Turn back time. One companion minus 30 stress. If afflicted, minus less. Rose is good. Your, your moves are great, Zach. You're, you're doing a good job. Uh... Sanctuary, I want. And. Ray? I mean, I definitely want Sanctuary. I like having the option at least to prevent nighttime ambush. Actually, like, Hope just has, like, all the actual worst skills. I literally want every skill that she d didn't already have equipped. That's stupid. Just get rid of these, and then do li literally every other one. Great. Mystery solved. 
You're fine. That's fine. Get her wound care. Uh, I'm not gonna bother. Didn't level up attribution? Thought I did. Still thought I leveled up attribution. Actually, I think some of these people still need like armor. It's an expensive run, but you know, it's a long level five dungeon, so I think it makes sense. God, I sure hope that now that we've upgraded the stagecoach, we get a level uh two or lower antiquarian for our next run. I want it real bad. Uh okay, and then just trinkets. So I'm just gonna get the standard severed head of healing package. Uh, Zach is gonna get plus bleed skill chance, I guess? And then... Oh, that Jester item is not exciting. And I do think I want him to have that. Maybe I give him something generic like Martyr Seal? Actually, I can give her in a minute. So I could let her have a little bit more stress and give her the Sacred Scroll and give her like Mayor healing. I think I want to do that. Uh, I think I will get seven head of damage. I guess I would give her the Book of Sanity. And I think I'll give you Legendary Bracer and this thing. And then what do I give Zach? Give him the Survival Guide, maybe? Kind of like that. It's like a little bit better chance of scouting what I need to find. So it's super important. All right, everyone has stuff and skills. God, I'm so worried about this. I'm so ridiculously concerned. All right. Wish me luck going after that musket ball. You know why I'm doing it, too. It's for those arbalests. I'm all about them. Do it. Okay. It's long. So, like... Definitely four shuffles. Um... Two keys... Let's get, like, food and torches and stuff. I'm just gonna get two full stacks of food. I don't know if we'll find any, but like I want to be able to do some stress eating. Let's get another herbs because they tend to lead to food finds. Um, let's do like one holy water. We'll do Seventeen torches, and so I'm just gonna bring another shovel. I think that's what I want. Like, there's just so in a long dungeon that has some like outlets for shovels. Like, there's just so many chances I may need shovels, and I really don't want to be caught without them. There's, it's so bad. Gosh. Scouting chance is nearly 50%. That's kind of cool. With that throwaway item I put on the jester. <laughs> so I no longer have things that are good to put on the jester. Scouting! Has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. 
Let yeah, it's a long looking dungeon. Evil. Uh, let's immediately fight and see how this works. Okay. Yep, don't like your stupid face. These seem to be upgraded dogs. They are a different color. I don't know exactly what that means. Um, let's stun one of them. I'd like to harvest you. Extra bleed. Uh, and then... It's actually a bolster. The stress dealer's definitely gonna get another move. A death by inches. And that dog's not going this turn. I think I should be able to take it out. Dog. Still hit. But I should have reduced the amount of stress I took. Uh, let's retribution you. And make you bleed. Yeah, I think she's done for. Uh, I guess just heal Jester. Targeted heals definite 15, which feels pretty good. Uh, and then... Oh, that was That's perfect. Amazing. That was just perfect. Could the Jester go before her? That would have been Slowly, nice. Gently. Take the things this I have painting gold. Taken. Uh, what is this? Bandages? Did I bring any of those? Nah, get out of here. Well, I know it's a room battle. More battle! It'll be really funny to me if, like, after this room, it's like, you completed the mission! That was 100% of room battles. I think I've mentioned that I have had that happen exactly once before. I, I did... There's, like, one or maybe two room battles, and, like, most of a medium or long dungeon left, and it was like, da -da, you did it. And I was like, thanks? Let's stack some bleed on. Uh, I think I would like to do bolster here. And then maybe uh, try to stun the giant and get a little extra torchlight. Just top us off, because I think we're a couple points shy of 100. Miss! Yeah, it's all about that bolster. So he uses the Ancestor's Pen with the Sharpening Sheath on Highwayman to give him additional 20% melee crit chance. Andrew, oh, Andrew used the repost move. That's pretty good. Uh, she should be dead, which is neat. Uh... Impressive. Ooh, critical retribution. So if he comes at me, bro, I'm gonna hit him back. I mean, I guess just like try and stun again. It just won't work. Stack the bleed. A powerful blow. Miss. It didn't miss, but I did hit. Oh, jeez. I'm glad this fight is like mostly over. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Guess I'll break through. And then stress heal self. And then move back. Maybe Retribution kills him? Still not technically dead, huh? I guess that's just more opportunity for stress heal. With the bling bling blong! Move so fast. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade hey, look, the a bleed thing. blade. Uh, do I want it? Really. I mean, I have it. it. Comes up a lot. It's fine. 
Reasons I'm glad I brought too many shovels. Very early obstacle again. Didn't bring bandages, right? I confirmed this already. Just making sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't want to forget that. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Luckily, it took from the correct pile. We have inventory space. What is that? I mean, I, it's obviously upgraded slime, but it's gross. Look at that thing. I don't want that. I don't want this at all. None is the amount that I wanted. Here, uh, weed, I guess. Uh, finish that off. I think I'm, they do like statuses and stuff. I'll try to Iron Swan. Maybe I'll get a critical or something. Um, how much damage would this do? 7 to 13. Not really enough. So instead, I will. I will bolster. You could like stack a little bit of damage, and that might matter over time. But like the the dodge buff seems probably useful against like negative status guys. been scarier, considering it's like a slime made of blood. It just looks a lot scarier than the last one. I think I want a retribution this one, because I don't think it quite dies to its bleed. Oh no, 10 damage? I just real upgraded, huh? Uh, in that case, I'll retribution the big guy to just start wearing him down. I feel like I'm gonna get hit. Hey, look. I like that he spent his turn trying to mark me when I just marked myself. Um, it's real resistant to stun. This thing's annoying. How about everybody gets nine? A momentary abatement. You feel for nine? Pretty good. Oh, that's a nice dodge. Look at that boost pan off. Um. Or what oh, sound doesn't hit there? Yeah, let's try and uh, stack the bleed on. Darn! If it bled, that would have died. Which is ironic. I believe that attack is literally called "if it bleeds." Nah, I really thought that was a surefire thing. Let's harvest to bleed the front Continue one and kill the, the back one before it does something I don't want it to do. Them all. And now we shall wail upon it. As such. Alright. He does that thing. Uh, I don't know. Attacks aren't great against these things that extremely resist bleed. I think they're like the only thing in, in the wheel that does that. That isn't also a giant cannon boss. Darn it. Um, let's start the big one. Wow, it actually worked. Radiant, it has like super stun results. Oh, now it's just dead. I made it dead. Stop slamming my jester. That's just, that's not cool. That's a party battle. Destroy. See, and I'm just gonna destroy you. That's how that works. Success so clearly in view. Or is it I'll just like cram some the food light. in my face so I don't have room for it. Oh wow wow. I'm gonna hit all room battles, so I'm probably gonna start at least heading up that left path there. But I'm encouraged by like these two being empty rooms. I hope they're not all just everything. Um and this is Pristine Fountain. So I think this one's fine. It looks spooky, but I think this one's fine. Uh, I'll let the Vestal do it. 
Okay, get rid of that stress. Alright, who's my trap person? Jester, you got it. Cure your stress situation, please. That was a 90% chance to disarm that trap. I just want you all... I just want you all to be aware of this. It's written right there in the lower right corner. That's a 90%. 9 zero. Just... That's obviously not a hundred, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, nine zero. XCOM odds there. Yeah, that sounds that sounds right. Cat knows what's up. Oh look at look at that look at that hateful scout. That's like, yeah, look at all this information and doesn't reveal either of these two rooms. It stops short of like three different rooms that would have been useful. Look at all this. Look at just look at this Christmas tree of battles and random curios up this path. And like this could like I mean sure there's maybe treasure over here, but like if this isn't a room battle, like this is just a headache is what this is. Like this is annoying. But I feel like I have to at least start going up this path because it could be a room battle. And like trekking all the way back from the far corner sounds awful. Ugh. So close. Oh good, it's more blood slime that my jester is like specifically bad against. Uh, just like, just, just some general AoE please. I'll take out as many guys as possible so I'm just receiving less attacks. And on that note, let's stun this guy. Uh, and then you know what? I got one attack incoming this round? Let's bolster. Jellies indeed, Sarah. You know that these guys are jellies because jam don't shake like that. Actually, take that one out. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. It is actually quite nice being able to um, take out a third position enemy with Hellion, which like the distribution I've been using for most of this run like doesn't Vigor account for. Is restored. I also like that just like a regular heal from the Vestal like maxes out the Jester from nearly dead. Wow, I actually made the slime bleed get wrecked. Uh, stun the big one. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Not quite dead. That would have been nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, just keep trying to make the slime bleed, even though that doesn't make any sense. If that creature had blood, I would not care for it. Dude, stop doing that one move in particular. Oh, it dodged, did it? I kind of want to get rid of the big one because it just keeps spawning other idiots. Let's stun the front one. Because, like, Jester's probably going to do the AoE attack and whittle down the middle guy. Maybe... No, I think I have to Retribution this turn if I still want it up. But let's think about this. If Bleed is on that guy, five points. If I do Retribution and it hits, it, like, can't possibly do that much. So, ooh. No, Rampart doesn't hit that point. Alright, let's hit him. Alright, he should be dead. Ooh, Ice Bunny, you're on your third non-sleep night? I mean, like, I... I joke a little bit about it, but I do eventually end up getting to sleep most nights. I just have terrible sleep and nightmares that wake me up in, in the middle of the night. It's fun. I don't recommend it, because I'm being sarcastic. You're going to stress yourself, since I can't adequately attack first position anyway. A brilliant confluence of skill. Yeah, check out that confluence of skill and purpose. I mean, I can take this man at arms item for my man at arms. I don't think I want that. I know I've seen this one before. 
Those 15 max HP, pretty good. Minus two speed for a class that already goes last. Like, I guess that's the point, but like, it feels kind of harsh. I'm gonna leave it. So this is just like a camping tent that like probably has map in it. So show me... No, it scouted exactly as far as the last map that I found like three squares away. I wish, like I was three squares away. I was hoping it would just like, just, it just, mm, ah. Let's go this way. I didn't bring the right anything. Hey, look, I have one for this. Treasure. Hmm. This one I should probably take. Bust, but only some of them stack. And gold, that does stack. Oh, this one's actually pretty good. I'm tempted to leave behind something like the Bleedstone, but I think I actually want to have that in my inventory. So... Let's get rid of the onyx, I think. And I, I'm just trying to decide. Like, I do need a lot of busts. It's like the main thing I'm like trying to get right now. So maybe I take that over the holy water. I think that's what I want. All right, let's fight these idiots. This is the Tambourine's staple in his game, and is literally using it right now on the final level Prophet boss. I mean, it's a good item. I keep- I, I have, and I keep seeing the, the dark version of it, which I don't really like. I think that's supposed to be better for endgame, but, like, I don't really like it, so... Even though I have it, I don't usually use it. I think I've used it, like, once, because it, like, technically just, like, ups, like, max HP on Jester. In addition to, like, the other stuff it does. Something like that. It has some, like generic neutral benefit. Um, I would like to rampart this one so that I can break through with the heli and hit the stealth lady. Press this advantage. That worked like Give pretty no good. Quarter. It's a little bothersome that now there are no targets for any of my people to hit. Luckily so far only healers have gone. Censorship is bad. Oh good, the man at arms has the Black Plague now. Thanks for that. God, I hate this lady so much. I really do hate this lady. So does bad idea. Well, that's kind of a lot of gold. This expedition at least promises success. Mm. I just have to leave it. I mean, ba I think basically I want to do my first camp soon. Not like immediately, but soon. It depends on what we see, but I think I just leave this behind. Oh, this is nothing. Scout chance? No. Keep going, I guess. These curios are a pack and a pack. Oh, map! Alright, empty room. Okay, let's think about this. Haha, I got back to the door without stress. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna leave this stuff behind. And then deal with the rest of the dungeon. There's already plenty of it. And then maybe when we get to... Um, I don't want to camp. Here are the next space. So including the next space, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm having like inventory management problems. I'm not even that stressed. I think I go one more. I think I go to the next room and then camp. Oh, I'm so sick of this lady, let me tell you. Man at arms, go fast. 
look at that! Look at that one, Chester! Um, I think I should group heal. Don't. Um. 24, huh? Or miss. Miss is an option. Let's bolster. It would be nice if some amount of these attacks would miss. Or they would just hit critically. Sure, I guess that's... That's fine, too. So I gotta say, uh... I mean, we're about halfway through this dungeon. We haven't encountered a thing on the level of whatever that horrible, like pig monster was we found the other time. And I don't mean the swine god himself. We found, like, a random encounter when I tried to do that. It was, like, some dude I've never seen before. Was super horrible. Now well, they, like, basically all went first that time. That's cool. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. What's her deafness at? It takes four damage. Uh... So, someone, someone. I'm gonna do group. Soothe. Sedated. Perfect. So if I do retribution, it threatens to do three to five. Three would put her in lethal range. So if this hits, she'll be dead. Alright, so I will have the Hellion try to hit her. What the hell even gone that way? That's it. Oh my god, don't There. You deserve that. Broken. Maintain uh, the offensive. Let's stress heal. are dodging like crazy. Stun that one. So it doesn't attack me next round. Just in case this guy also misses. He did it. Whoa! Holy crap! Seize this moment. Holy crap! Push on to the tasks and Ancestor's pen? That's a ridiculously rare item to find on the corpse of a random dog. It's the reward for the other one we didn't do. We get both of them. Jeez! All right, what are we getting rid of? Uh, medicinal herbs? Torches? The light. I think it's the torches. Safety. No place for this gold. Jeez. Actually, do I want to just like equip this to someone? Is this better than what he has? It's plus twenty percent damage, but also adds. Uh, stress. This one also adds stress. It also increases critical. Eh, I think I'll just leave it for now. But like, yeah, what a crazy thing! What a crazy thing! Do you believe that? The odds against that have to be ridiculous. This expedition at least promises success. I feel a lot better about dealing with all that garbage from that crazy lady now. Um... So I could try to live the dream and hold on to this key for a secret room. Got a pretty good scout chance here, but I think I'm honestly better off just using it at this point. I'm gonna do it. It's pretty good. Just leave this onyx. So now. We've managed our inventory some. But do I want to camp here, or do I want to push even further? I just think I want to push further. No, I had... No, no, I still have the medicinal herbs. Get wrecked, dungeon. No one touched this corpse. Okay, now do it. Uh, sure. That's actually not the worst. Uh, jam all of this in your face. Great, now the only problem I had is solved. A little bit of, like, actual damage on 
the guy. Don't touch that. What was the light here? Uh, I have a bunch of movement skills. But I don't want to fight the room battle with Low Torch. Let's fight whoever this is. Oh, look at that! That middle bandit has like a... Like a 80s action movie robot face or something. Brigand Raider. So let's see, I do 7 to 12 damage, and then also... How much bleed? 4 bleed. So like 11 to 16 or 10 to 18. It's pretty close, but the bleed stacks nicely. No, it doesn't account for their protection, huh? I wasn't sure about that. I meant to check and didn't. Uh, this guy looks the scariest, so I'm gonna stun him. Or miss. Miss also option. Uh, I would like to... Harvest and hopefully bleed. Okay. And then none of them have gone. Let's bolster. I think you get pretty good returns on them. Like if you get the surprise round, bolster feels like a good first action unless you're gonna like kill someone outright. Even that is close. Cause like everyone gets like a pretty good like 10% dodge is like a pretty good bonus. Let's harvest again. Are both of those guys dead? Sure, did the second guy get bleed? No. Like, that guy's super dead. That one's apparently dead too. Just group people, I guess? Yeah, Bolster has, has really been performing. I, like, misunderstood both parts of it, and it's still better than slow death. I expected it to be. <laughs> Unforgiving. Boom. Uh, any of this stack? As victory oh, some won. of the crest stack. That's so nice. Too will resistance. Yeah. So... Hmm. So many shovels. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, I'm definitely gonna camp in the next room. Even though it doesn't seem like it does very much. I think I'm gonna hold on to what I have. It's kind of close. I don't know, the busts are really good. Maybe I just get rid of uh, medicinal herbs? Yeah, probably. Probably that. I mean, I can't complain. Like, it's a little tough to manage all this. I've ended up with, like, a lot more food than expected to need. Uh, but I can use a bunch while I'm camping, and that's fine. Uh, but we, we, like, literally just found, like, on the ground an ancestral rarity item that's really good that we almost considered doing a whole quest to get. Just, like, on the ground. It's pretty cool. It's not, like, the worst room battle we could have encountered. It's not, like, a, it's not great for us, but, like, that could definitely be worse. Uh, I think I want to bleed this guy. God, it's a lot of damage. Uh, I would like to try and bleed both of them. She always dodges, because she's very slippery. Stun the one I can hit. And then I shall bolster. Inspiration Mix. and improvement. Miss. That's like the opposite of missing, is whatever that just means. That was fairly annoying. Let's break through. And she still dodges it. It's just extremely rude is all. Is my problem with that. Um, let's try to stun her. Oh my god. I think I have attacked her three times? Four times? And every single one she has dodged. This is ridiculous. Plus, like, they don't seem to give two cares about my dodge boost. It hasn't factored in at all. Meanwhile, they're dodging, like, everything. Finally. 
stun her. Oh my god. I really do hate that woman. I really do hate that woman. She is definitely like the the madman's girlfriend. Okay. I hate that tree too. Um Okay, got her. Just need Vestal to have a turn. Um Vestal, thank you. Dude, is the move resist on the man at arms like zero or something? <laughs> He, like, always gets moved every time. Just keep stacking that bleed on this idiot. He's making me mad. I'm gonna have you, like, heal. Frontliners can do the frontline work. I'm gonna heal from here. Wow, the dodge is just doing nothing for me this time around. I gotta heal the hell out of me. I hit for like 56 in one shot. It's pretty rough. I don't know if you noticed. Um, what about... It's pretty resistant to stun. Just like... It's almost as though the dodge chance that I applied to my team instead got applied to them. See it. Like, it probably actually would be better for me to use the Jester to damage him since I'm about to camp anyway. Stun him, please? No. Stack the bleed on? Can I take him out? I think that'll do it. Yeah, okay. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Oh, hey, look at this. Look at this freebie right here. Anti-Venom. Got him. Uh... Gosh, I wish I could, like, wait five seconds and use the campsite and take these deeds, but I don't think that's happening. It's annoying that I actually want to keep this bleed stone, um, considering it would normally be something I would get rid of very quickly. Alright, uh, camp. Circle in the okay, we have, like, just, the battle just like, infinite one. food, so, like, everyone feel great. Let's practice pretty good. Ooh, battle trance is interesting. Uh, I guess we'll prevent nighttime ambush. Oh wow, it uh, healed her because she has the mortality debuff. I haven't had that be relevant yet. Uh, and then let's weapons practice, because that worked pretty well last time. Lifetime of practice still leaves mortal. Uh, and then I think the best use of time units is every rose, because even though it only stress heals one person, this also does a minus percentage buff for four battles, so like, it's good. And I don't think I have anything else I can actually use with this group. Okay, let's rest. This place is horrific. Even so, I'm at ease. Uh, this team does not lit. currently have a way to clear. remove mortality debuffs. I don't think the there's a ton of camping it. skills that do that. There are some, but I don't think anyone on this team learns them. I might be wrong about that. Uh, do I bother going up there for the trip? Oh, I have to do all room battles. Right, that's the thing we're doing. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna bother. I should have brought like a thousand keys, huh? Okay, ninety percent, nine zero. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's use a torch. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Yeah, the occultist camp. I want to say the crusader camp, but I think that's actually wrong. I feel like there's probably at least one other character who camp. I'm not sure who it is. Um, let's do... Let's do Harvest. A little bit of bleed for everyone. Let's 
Sprinkles might be bad enough gal to just power through mortality debuffs. I think she is. It's a rough hit though. Can't blame her for getting upset about that. Um, I don't want to get hit by the tree branch again, so let's try to not do that. Then let's... Yeah, do that. Let's do that. And then let's have Bolster actually do a thing this time. The blood quickens. so fast. Like, it literally even has, like, the uh, Madman voice cue there. Um, none of these particularly do anything at the moment. I guess I will take a real shot at the dark of stunning him. Definitely won't. Um, let's harvest, hope for some bleed. Not where I needed it. Ah, there we go, we finally dodged. It only took like two entire battles. Uh, which less accurate is this than the other one? 108 versus 108. We're gonna try the bleed one. Then. Retribution? I should put her in lethal range. If it hits. But I still get the. that. Repost. Frequently forget the name of it. Uh, free damage. Get dumpster. Miss again! Nope. Very vulnerable. Only the jester isn't marked. No two people aren't on fire. Yeah, I'm not surprised True Rage Smackdown has the highest non-boss damage of the game. I've seen it do a lot of scary stuff. A decisive pummeling. Yeah, get decisively pummeled upon. Oh, look at that one. We're doing to him what the last guy did to us. Um, hit him, I guess? Yeah, hopefully Jester gets a turn. Casual 27 damage. Uh, actually has the most strikes. This is not a good way to check this. Don't have a better way to check. I don't care. Best of feel better. Bling bling bling. Blue peel, just in case I get a critical stress heal chance. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Worry stone. Uh, okay, let's take these. Some food. Take the paintings? I think crests are actually... Well, I could take like one... Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I thought I was going to pick it up. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. That is not a big deal. It's a, it is a mild nuisance. Hey, it worked out. The painting stack. Also, so much surprise food. Uh, cool. Love it when a plane comes together. Let's make our way to the next room battle and see if the next leap will be the leap home. 90% chance to disarm this trap. 9-0. Oh no, hunger. Whatever will I do with my still over a stack of food? Uh... Cool. What's in the box? What's in the box and bag I tried to say all If only this? treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I wish I, had scout I wish I could scout far enough to see whether I needed any more of these four shovels. Last time I needed so many shovels, and this is a log, so I was like, I don't know, slightly more than that shovels? This time I haven't seen any shallow graves and only one obstacle. Honestly, I could probably get rid of this food. Like, I have 12. There's, like, this much dungeon. Even if I want to camp for stress, I still have a hunger check. No one can even eat it. We're so... Such an abundance of riches. Um, hey you with the mortality debuff. Enjoy some holy water. Great. Squeak! Oh, I gotta tell you. 
in a long dungeon, I kind of get sick of seeing the same, like, two enemies I dislike most out of the entire spawn pool over and over. Um, stun the giant. His move so. Um, really doesn't make a difference at this point, huh? I guess I'll do the one with more bleed damage. Um, do I want to kill the front one? Yeah, that's probably relevant. It's got super high protect, so... Just kidding, I can't do the bleed move on their first position. I always forget that about if it bleeds. So let's just... Critical hit for 20, sounds decent. Currently my team has no stress. I like it. Um... It's gone already. Gonna do bolster. Try and protect against all the stress attacks she's planning on doing. Continue to try and make Scary Man bleed. It's a pretty good hit. Uh, oh, you're not stealth anymore. Uh, try and attack the stress dealer. What miss, obviously. Um. Harder to check stats of individual characters on PS4. I'd like to see if that amount of missing HP from the Hellion is like nine-ish. Because if it was, then like group heal would probably be better. Honestly, maybe I just want to stun someone with the dazzling light, like the guy with that big old tree. At least we got a little bit of torch out of it. Now. Alright, next round I'm definitely healing the house. Oh, ah, jeez. Someone's definitely getting shuffled. In a single strike. Uh, not great, but this could be worse. Let's try to stun the big guy. I think I just want to stress heal the Vestal, maybe? Can't do dedicated heal from here. I think I'm still better off healing. Mine's pretty good. Let's break through! Might have the Jester do his Dirk Stab next turn, then everyone will mostly be back in position. That's a good dodge. Uh, okay. Let's try and kill the front guy. Love it. Let's stab the lady in the back. It's another good dodge. So how much damage is this gonna do? Six to twelve. I've made close to a hundred percent accuracy. I do eight to fifteen, but then also bleed. I know she's got a pretty good dodge chance, but this feels like a good move. Yeah, that's seems good. And now I can do a dedicated heal! And now I mostly feel better. Thanks for bringing hope to Sprinkles. I'm just gonna try and stun him, since I'm in position to do that with, like, no real penalty. Then let's uh, stack some bleed on him, maybe. Then probably just heal Sprinkles again. It is nice to have a Vestal who will definitely heal a good amount when you tell her to heal. Instead of the Occultist who sometimes is like, Trust me, it's fine. He's better! Precision and that was good. Power. Smush? How much bleed is on him, but I think I'll still survive this. Uh, let everyone for a little bit. I'm gonna get that critical sometimes. Precision. Chill out the Hellion. 
See who goes next. The Hellion. Boom! Oh, he dodged it. I thought that was gonna. Kind of thought that. Oh, he died. Monstrous size has no intrinsic Boy, merit. Uh, Unless torch is cool. Exsanguination be considered a virtue. I'm like paintings are neat. I already have six of them. The plus are definitely more important. We have a lot of them, which is super nice. Um, I think I just leave this, which sucks. I wish I had a trinket that gave me like two more inventory spaces or something. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, this is the thing that happens when you get, like, trinkets you actually want and can't currently equip, which is not something that comes up often and is a good problem to have, but does make this a little bit of a challenge. Um, so, do I want... I didn't scout either. That's rough. I don't think I want to camp. I want to find a key somewhere. Oh. My. God. Becky. Look at that thing in fourth position. What is that? What is that thing? You cannot take trinkets, so you just take more trinkets. There's some, there's some good logic there, ditto. Uh, run. I mean, run seems like a good option. Will the video game tell me what it's called? Hateful Virago! Well, that's appropriate. I do hate it. I mean... Jeez, I don't know what to do about that. I think I, I think I start by harvest. Do I harvest? Yeah, probably. I feel like I need to kill everything but that because it will definitely take a while to kill that. Oh, I can't hit it. Okay, 16 damage is not quite as scary as I expected it to be. Oh, I'm gonna try to stun one of these. I think what I actually want to do is Rampart to stun the other dog to reduce the amount of damage I'm taking and also set up the Hellion to do a uh, breakthrough to hit like the stealth lady on top of everything else. I could bolster. Kind of close. I don't know exactly what that last one can do. Maybe that's a reason to bolster and up our uh, dodge chance. Yeah, I'll do that. Looks friendly to you. Neko, I'm concerned about your friends. Jeez! Jeepers creepers, that's scary. I mean, like, that could do a lot more damage, but it looked horrifying. Gosh, never does anything. The goggles, they do nothing! I, I've had it up to here with that one dog. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Putrefying breath? Is that a stun? It's a move chance? What is this bizarre creature? Oh my god, they all went first this round and I hate it. Okay, at least that missed. Uh, cool. Parentheses, not cool at all. Alright, I think she's dead now. Yeah, she's dead now. Uh, I'm just gonna... That's cool. Cool. Uh, neat. How about... How dead is that dog? Five? And the bleed on it is four. Irritating. Uh... A 98% chance to hit... If I hit, I have a moderate chance of killing the dog. I think maybe I just focus on Hateful Virago and of course miss! Mm, let's do this. The thing I mentioned earlier, but it didn't get stunned, so it's annoying. Could one of my team go before their entire team goes? Blitz. At least that means the Hellion's Breakthrough can maybe hit the Hateful... God, that thing is so spooky. I don't like it. I do not care for the cut of its gym. The wounds of war can be healed, Stop but never me. hidden. I mean, it's good character design because I look at it and I immediately hate it. But at the same time, I look at it and I immediately hate it. Maybe? Maybe? 
Actually, it has pretty good resist. Um, yeah, it breaks through. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I wanted to break through. Uh, I think I retributioned the one that's really alive. Come on. Oh, these clutch dodges by the enemies are so frustrating. Look at all the crap stacked on sprinkles right now. It's very upsetting. Uh, we could check its, like, creature type tag, but I would guess that thing is human, yeah. It might be, like, eldritch human, but I think, yeah. Um, yeah, Groupio seems good. Patches most of them pretty effectively. I'm so sick of these stupid dogs with their, like, one hit point. Uh... Kill this one. Thank you. Uh, if I don't retribution this turn, I won't retribution this turn. Uh, nowhere near killing this thing. This thing only has 50% stun resist and still resisted my last attempt to do this. I don't actually think I want to try and stun it. Very slim chance of killing it. It has decent dodge. Okay, it's probably a pretty good excuse to camp, right? Compassion is a rarity. Th whatever this thing is, this is the equivalent of the pig monster that gave me such a hard time. But somehow I've managed to endure it better. I hate this creature. It's like one of the only times I've brought a team that doesn't have some sort of like anti-dodge thing and I'm just dying over here. Jester's the only one that seems to be able to hit it. Right, the dog's dead, at least. I don't even remember what disease the man at arm got. Apparently I made it singular, don't worry about it. These nightmarish creatures can be I really can't get rid of these shovels. It's very bothersome. Uh, well, I can fit some of that gold, huh? Uh, I'm not quite close enough to the end that I want to ditch my torches. I can like fire off a bunch of torches and then camp. I don't think I'm quite close enough to justify that. I think I have to leave this. I'm so salty about it. Rumble, rumble. Another locked item. Where, where's all my keys at? Should be fine. I've grown wary of this exercise. <laughs> Just like, yeah, I mean, I'm sort of able to put up with this, but at the same time, like, God, I'm just kind of sick of fighting these same enemies. Um... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take out this guy. That was a good hit. Uh, yeah, I think Harvest is probably enough. Jeez. Uh, really tempted to do retribution. Might only do two damage, and that'd be annoying. Let's try to dodge for once. Yeah, look at that. Dodge for one time. Alright, that thing will be dead next turn. Miss again? Uh, it's fine. He was probably gonna mark himself. Oh no, here comes the shuffle. Ooh, Jeepers, that's a bad one. Uh, yeah, we have to do that. Alright, let's break through. 
sound quakes. This is gonna be a really annoying one after that shuffle. Uh, the only move I can do is stab! I hate, I know only hate! I thought he could use Rampart back here. I always forget this. Very good at forgetting this. At least I'm back in position where I can heal again. With the Vestal. Zack for short. Stab! I only gotta do a group heal. Oh, that's a nice group heal. Look at that one. That feels good. Breakthrough! I could retribution her, and if it hit, I would have a 66% chance of making her dead. All right. Uh oh. Good dump. At least it has like a relatively low accuracy. If that move was like accurate and that damaging, that would be really traumatizing. Of course, when it does hit like multiple times at a dungeon run, it feels real bad. I think it also has like a high crit chance. I feel like I see a crit on it. I'm gonna just heal Spring Because dang, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't keep always doing it. Back in the front, which is cool. I think I'll have him rampart now, which puts Jester back where he wants to be. Ooh, and we actually got the stun off that. It's relatively free. Let's do another Divine Comfort. Was mostly in good shape. Um, oh, nice critical hit with the uh, slice it off. Put some bleed on the big dope. Speaking of bleed, if it bleeds, make it bleed more. No. Um. I think I won't repost on, even though I apparently missed. This has like pretty good damage, honestly. Pretty impressed with that through this whole dungeon. A momentary abatement. Don't, don't. Oh, jeez. I'm telling you, I think that thing has a high crit chance. Vision. The end approaches. Uh, bleed more. Stun, maybe. It didn't stun. Vastal? Uh... Please heal this one. Thanks, Vastal. Love your work. What is this dungeon? A trifling it's nothing victory, but tambourines. But a victory nonetheless. Literally got the sun and moon tambourines here. God, I want like all this stuff, but I don't have enough pockets. I don't have enough pockets, you guys. Um, I mean, I definitely have to camp here. Uh, oh, scout chance. There's definitely at least one more room battle, which has to be the last space. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, when I close this window, it'll say I'm done. I was like, I'm pretty sure that means I did all the battles. <laughs> um, gosh, if that's the case... I'm probably not going to get better treasure than just what's sitting in this pile right now. Let's definitely need gold. I spent a lot of gold to get here. Um, shovels, there's like literally nothing else I need shovels for. Um, if I put the campfire in the top thing, can I press triangle on it there and use it like you can with the, uh, the torches and stuff?
And I can't even actually like press that button now, so I'm sure that's a no. Um. Just trying to decide if I want this tambourine. I need the food because I would like to do like stress healing before going back to town. I could probably get away with not doing that, but hmm, that's tempting. If I do that, and I don't even need the log, I could get rid of the food and take the tambourine and. I think the stack of shovels probably gives more returns than 250 gold. Yeah, honestly, I don't think it makes sense to camp anymore. Might as well have everyone, like, eat a bunch before we throw it away, though. Could unlock chest. Does that work? Duh. I'd be willing to try that. I don't think the failure chance is like super destructive. Huh. I didn't know that. Oh wow, look at that. Key. For a task well performed. I could take that key back where I came from. And try to get more, because like I passed like a locked box like super recently, like two steps away from here. But then I'd have to get rid of something again! Alright, I'm going to take this gamble. I'm going to gamble that whatever is in that box is worth more than a thousand gold. literally right here. Huh? That was technically correct. It's frustrating that this more than a thousand gold doesn't stack in any meaningful fashion, but at least I didn't miss out on anything. Let's look at the positive. Uh, yeah, I think we're done here. That was, uh, that was good. That went well. I mean, it was frustrating. It was like a, it was like a draining run. Oh, jeez. End of the first year. And, oh, that means we must have hit level 6 with someone, although that was expected. I don't know what that trophy is. We got three trophies from that run. Um, yeah, we got a, a lot of busts, which we needed. We got 8,000 gold, plus 15,000 from just doing it. And another nine busts from that. And we got... Two ancestral uh, trinkets, and everyone but hope is diseased. They're all level six, but they're all diseased. I mean, I can check, but then I would have to like basically like pause the game and put the stream on hold. Uh, what did we get? A bad idea already had a disease. Sprinkles has low bleed resist. Is obsessed with food. Bad idea is now fragile, which is annoying. And Zach, for short, has scurvy. I'm pretty sure Zack has had more diseases than, definitely than any other character I've had in this entire run. Um, but, like, also probably, like, I would guess he's had as, as many diseases as the next two people put together. We replaced Unyielding with Cove Explorer, which cannot be a good exchange. Like, I would have to navigate to, like, the PS4 menu. It would be stupid. We're not checking what the thing is now. It will not last. Uh, some stress relief is free, but you can't go to... Oh, no, this isn't the, like, they ran out of beer one. This is, like, check it out stuff. Sage coach, antiquarian. God, I want an antiquarian so bad. Oh, sweet. I have exactly enough deeds to max out Stagecoach. Get wrecked. Trophy.
give it to me. I feel like there should be a trophy for that, is there not? Or have I done that before? I don't think I've done that before. That takes so many resources. Got some cool trinkets and stuff. I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, like, these, these poor folks need some TLC. Weed resist is rough, especially in case she gets, like, paired with uh, a cult, uh, an occultist. Uh, so that's, like, fine. Don't, I'm, I'm click, I'm clicking, I'm clicking it! We had the Black Plague. The whole time he had minus max HP and minus five speed. Yeah, no wonder that started seeming more difficult, like at the midpoint, when he got sick. Uh, surprisingly, he didn't get another disease, since that is a disease that makes it more likely to get diseases. And just, oh, poor Zack. Yeah, I mean, same reason. Dude resist this. Kind of annoying. Uh, alright. Do I have anyone who, like, needs to be treated for stress? Like, no, right? I mean, it's free, so I could send, like, Derp, Evelyn O'Connell, and March or something over there. But let's see where we're going. Uh... <laughs> Stupid Dark Tambourine. Mustache Cream! Weird. What is this one again? This hairpin... Uh, plus 10% crit if torch is low, plus accuracy if torch is low. That's not really my scene. What is this thing? Weird Vestal Scroll. Plus 15 damage, plus protect in position 2. This is a put your Vestal in position 2 scroll. But it improves your healing skills. What, what healing can you do in position 2? Group heal? I guess I could send hope for free stress heal. Yeah, you could do group heal from there, and you get a boost to group heal, and you do more damage and take more stress. That's super weird. Who's that for? I mean, I know she's also got the uh, mace bash, which she can use from there. Which is like, okay. It's not like a particularly impressive move or anything. Do you, like, normally use your vessel position too? Not like sometimes, but like, that's a thing you do often? Like, Divine Grace seems just like so much better. Like, it feels so weird to me to do that. Doing some kind of lower level thing, I think. Probably like a level 3? I could get the weird Vestal scroll with weird Vestalness. Just my options are... Hmm, short doesn't sound terrible, because that was... That long was pretty long. So medium, medium... Another short. I already have the double-edged pendant. Surprise kind of sucks, but you do get some busts. Alternatively... See, I feel like it cheapens it. I have three antiquarians that I could take on a low-level antiquarian mission. But without a fourth, I'd have to put someone else in there, and that feels like cheating somehow. I feel like I need four antiquarians if I'm going to do the stupid thing. But I really want to do it. Like, I don't know what happens at the end of that, but it sounds interesting. Um, I don't know, I guess I go for the... I guess I go for the, uh, the weird vessel scroll. It's like a rare thing. If I really need to, I could sell it or whatever. Alright, so I'm not taking my level 6 Vestal, so she can, like, meditate. Maybe she wants to pray? Uh, any other things I could upgrade? I 
they're super relevant. Um, feel stress on March. And then I'm not sure... Like I could take some of these level 4s with the level 3s. I don't know what kind of team I want. So I mostly want to go to the ruins and probably want to do this. It's like room battles with skeletons and humans. Um, so I guess it's... the cultists. I kind of want to bring Neko. Already there she is. She can sort of offset bleed chance, and that's cool. Um, could bring like Scout Master Lumpus, and then like a sort of proper front person, maybe a level three one. Kind of like level people up and still also balance the team. Jazz. Do bubble buster. Interesting thing about bubble buster is if I use him as a front person, uh, his point blank shot can like shift him back. But I guess that's bad with the grave robber. I just bring like leper. Uh, leveling up Bobble Buster could be good. Does Great Robber? Let's uh. the thing where the team gets next to each other. Not you. Do you have a you have like lunch forward, but it, oh, it works from back position, so it wouldn't counteract that. So what it would mean is you probably like she's in first position you can't use grave shot blast, which is like a little annoying. Um can still use open vein and wicked slice, which is good. But, like point blank shot is like sometimes awkward. Because it like pushes you back and you don't necessarily always want that. But I guess you have the other options of stabbing that way. I, don't know, I think this is fine. It's kind of an interesting one. Um. You added up all the items you needed to upgrade the town, how much demolition? Do you want me to do large number math? That seems like a really odd request midstream. Like, the, the inventory management already takes far longer than I feel like most of you have patience for. And I, I wish I could make it faster, I'm just not smart enough. But like, in order to do that, I'd have to check like every single thing in town, and like, probably have like a calculator and like a notepad or something because I'd have to keep track of like four different resource numbers. It's a weird team. I will try it. Let's put some trinkets on and stuff. Also, maybe, I think some of you need to, like, upgrade armor. Next the one? Isn't sure. Oh, I, I prepared Neko for the last one. That's probably why. Uh, Skills-wise... This is probably the correct loadout for you. I'll put that there. Neko. Uh, definitely want Blight over... Weed from incision because it just doesn't do very much to the skeletons. Um, I think this is what I want for her. 
I'm gonna call Tess. Uh, against the skeletons, I don't really have as much need for Mark, but it is nice to get rid of Dodge. So I think I'll probably keep that on. It's a question mostly of... I guess I can't use stab from fourth position. Does Neko have restrictions on fourth position? No, Neko could go in fourth position. And the Coltes could be in third and have the knife as an option. I think I like that. I'll make sure I do that though. Okay, and then did that. Skills upgrade, you're fine, you're fine, fine, oh. Need any, like, camping stuff? This is a medium. Ooh, he can do gallows humor? Gallows humor's pretty good. Set those up right. I want him to have... Encourage Gallows Humor. So I want Wound Care and Bandit Sense. Bandit Sense is pretty cool. Uh, you got Gallows Humor and Encourage. Yeah, you're good. I think that's good. I could give you Wound Care, but I think that's okay. You got Talk and Prevent Nighttime Ambush is cool. Nico's got leeches. Yeah, it has like all the remove disease stuff and heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks good. I think those are solid options. Then I just have to do uh, items. Yay, items. Okay. So the cultist wants healing head and stress book. And Scoutmaster Lumpus wants this thing, and probably also the boosted blight chance thing, as moderate as that is. Let me show you this math! It's a dangerous supposition demolition. So... Well, you know what, though? So here's the musket ball. Just gives a little bit of stress. Does this? No, you know what? I should give you. Ins I should give you like life crystal instead, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Just like that much reduced HP is a little bit much. So in first position, most of his moves count as melee, right? Melee. I think this is technically ranged melee. Melee. So I guess I want him to have, like, the pen, maybe? Sister's pen gives melee damage and crit. Could just give him, like, the severed head of raw damage, though. That does also reduce max HP. He's not extremely, like, bulky to begin with. So, there's something that reduces stress. Got a couple things. Book of Relaxation. And then Neko will get uh, Could give her sniper ring for more accuracy. And then, like, ranged damage? Or I could offset her stress, too. Also gives a little bit of accuracy. I 
think I like that a little better. All right, let's uh, let's knock this one out and see how this goes. I don't think there's anything else to do in town. Should be good. Uh, all right, let's do this real quick. It's medium in the ruins. Uh, so ruins doesn't need like a ton of shovels. But I'm still a little gun shy after that first run we did today. It was like all shovels. We'll bring three, um, like like heirloom chests and whatever. A little bit more plentiful here. Our scouting chance is at fifty percent. So I'm gonna bring the third key. Um, I guess some herbs aren't huge here. Let's get food. I'll do like a real stress solver so I'll do that I'll do 20 food for medium um, torches like this should probably be fine 14 I definitely tend to overdo it um, what else might I want Bandage a holy water. Sure, we'll just see what we come across, I guess. Oh, let's go the, the full set. One, one of everything. The fiends must be driven back. On our first coin what flip. better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? So we're going for room battles again, just like last time. Uh, holy water. Why not? Oh boy. Gotta get rid of most of these, right? Hey, T-Bone, thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, welcome. Welcome to- Oh, we're playing Darkest Dungeon here. We're just starting a uh, medium-length one. We're trying to get our team leveled up for uh, the final showdown uh, with the Darkest Dungeon itself, which I've never done. My goal is I just kind of want to complete a run-through of the game. Uh, I think the sequel to this game is coming out relatively soon. Uh, so I kind of want to finish the first one, which I always liked, but never quite got there on. Uh, so welcome, everyone. Let me know if you have any questions. There's a lot to, like, take on in the game if you haven't played it before, and I'll try to do my best explaining what's going on. Make the cadence? Sure. I recommend uh, Confetti Cannons and Vasco Rage for... Uh, repelling the intruders, but also you could just hit them with Vasco Love because everyone's welcome here. That's how it goes. Working guys, have you played it before, T Bone? It's a pretty good game. It's it's a little on the hard side. I think people exaggerate a little bit how tough it is. It, it has a reputation for being super hard, but I think it's more like it's a little tough to get uh, the hang of it first, and also there's just like there is like a steep difficulty curve as you get to like more challenging dungeons. So I haven't seen... I've seen this guy like once before, the Bone Spear Man. I imagine he's just like another physical attack guy. He has an attack called Spear Throw. Devilish, thank you for the gift subs. Devilish is always extremely generous in chat. Uh, so, uh, welcome aboard T-Bone. Uh, Lean... 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 Uh, Don Juvenita. Uh, Super Bass and Letters. Uh, you get, we, we just updated our suite of, uh, well, sweet emotes, uh, so hopefully you enjoy them. Especially, uh, chat favorite, uh, Vasco d -Lo. I think I gotta tone down that sound effect. It's, it's a little on the loud side. I'm always fussing with my settings. Uh, let us blight the stress dealer. Ooh, that was a good hit. Uh, and then let us also use a plague grenade to blight the Bone 48 and Bone Spearman. Let's just slowly a obliterate them. Nice. Uh, okay, I left the stab on. Do I want the stab? I do. Stab this guy. And then... The open vein's not great here, is it? He's taking... Oh, five poison damage. I can't stab that far. I guess I have to just hit the first guy. Really hard. 
Well, welcome aboard, everyone. Uh, enjoy the gift subs, and thank you very much, Demolition, for graciously gifting the raiders. Foul warden. Ow! Oh no, that was the blocking guy. It's, it's a block. So now I can't hit the guy who's mostly dead, but I also, like, poisoned him before. So he'll die when his turn comes. Uh, this guy can't bleed because he's a skeleton. So I think I just stab him. Uh, don't need to heal, like, super badly? Is getting rid of his dodge better? I mark him, his chance of dodging goes way, way down. Um, but I will heal now so I don't get overwhelmed by damage later. I agree, T-Bone. I feel like our streams are, like, at a good size where, like, chat's just, like, hanging out, like, happy to talk. No one's getting, like, lost in the, in the fray like big streamers get sometimes. Like, it's super cool. one of the reasons I always hang out on letter streams. It's like, just, it's just right. <laughs> um, I'll just blast on the front one. She could heal herself a little bit with her battlefield medicine. I think I want to not just blast the guy with the armor so he takes, like, poison damage over time. Yeah, exactly. Ha having actual conversations instead of chat just, like, scrolling by. Yeah, and I don't love the idea of subs only mode either. Like, I get that it's necessary, but it's, you know, it's just like impersonal. Uh, let's do some more poison. I always forget what this, it's literally called poison bugs. Enjoy some darts, friend. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Wrong. Okay, that's not oh, stunted. I was gonna say, that's not so bad. I can have him, like, do his duelist lunge. It's fine, I stabbed him. Broken. Everything's cool. Maintain the it's offense. a good thing I brought too many keys, because it's time for keys. Let's open this heirloom chest. It's locked with our family sigil and get... What is this? Snake oil? Minus 10 stress? That's a real object in this game? I mean, I'll take it over citrines because they offend me on a moral level. <laughs> Don't wish it's a subs only. I'll solve this. <laughs> um, didn't actually take a close look at our map. So we're trying to find all the room battles, which is like what we just did. We came in here, there was like treasure, but we had to fight guys to get to it. This room up ahead, there's nothing in it, so that doesn't count as a room battle. Um, but I want to explore this whole dungeon, and I have to clear out all the battles in order to win and get the prizes I came here for. Um, so I want to switch my guys back because one of them got bonked kind of hard. And then let's go into the next hallway. Torchlight's still fine. Just got to focus our attention on that, uh, that one with the funny hat in the back. It has a goblet full of stress. Don't ask how it works. They just tempt you by splashing something on you. It's gross. Uh... Quite finished off, so I think I'd rather... Put the poison damage on with the poison darts. And, uh. We we'll just do the same thing here. Yeah, got a critical hit. Strike. Oh, wow, it's actually dead to the amount of damage I did. That was lucky. It's a good critical hit. Uh, so I guess I'll just scab, stab the skeleton. Destroy. They don't have a lot of defense. These just like regular guys that aren't in armor. Again, I should, even though my guys are in pretty good shape, I should probably spend my turns healing with the occultists because they have like a weird random chance of healing and sometimes they don't heal at all or sometimes they heal very little. They are our primary healer to keep the, the team going. Didn't quite finish them off. Uh, you know what? I think I want to apply some battlefield medicine so my, uh, highwayman doesn't keep bleeding. Everyone's dodging on my team, I love it. And then let's give him a- jeez, he really likes stabbing those guys. Such flourish. Uh, Success so clearly gold is definitely better than one gem. Or is it merely a trick of the light? And single painting, huh?
paintings I don't need as much as, like, busts. So I think I'll leave single painting, because these items might give multiple treasures if I get lucky. There's a lot of... When you explore the dungeons, you find stuff like this. This is a confessional, which I don't have a holy water to do the thing for. So if I don't have the correct item for one of these interactable dungeon objects, then uh, I can, like, take a, a chance, and it'll... It, there's usually like a chance that it will do a good thing, a chance it'll do a bad thing, and a chance it will do something neutral. It can get rid of, this one in particular can get rid of like these negative quirks that make your hero sort of unique. Like, uh, for example, Neko here has a fear of enclosed spaces and gets uh, more stress damage that way. Uh, and also has religious uh, visions and delusions, which I think means that she is more prone to like randomly activating certain like dangerous objects in the dungeon. Uh, that you might not otherwise interact with. Um, so, like, getting rid of those can be helpful. Jeez. Um, There's melee skills, wasted. I think I'm gonna take a shot at this one. I guess Scoutmaster. Lumpus will attempt to go to confession. Nope, bunch of stress. Eh. It's worth a shot. Uh, so, you basically have two health bars in this game. Uh, a regular, like, HP health, health bar, which is like, you know, they hit you with a sword, you take damage. But you also have stress. This is sort of a gothic horror RPG thing. Uh, so, like, you, you'll encounter, like, eldritch horrors and stuff, which deal, like, stress damage. And if you uh, endure enough stress, then your resolve is tested, which basically means, like, you're put under so much pressure, you see if, like, what kind of reaction you have, if you bend or break, and, like, sometimes you become, uh, like, virtuous, and, like, you sort of rally and become more powerful with, like, a, a boost for a while, but, like, a lot of the time you'll become, like, paranoid and, like, start, like, attacking your own team members or something, or, like, not attacking the enemies because you think they're up to something. Um, so you have to mind your health and your stress to have maximum success. Uh, books can do similar things to that confessional. And they can get rid of negative quirks or gain positive ones. Um, I'll double down. Scoutmaster, do the thing. Nope, it's just a really spooky place. Don't, don't read the books or touch anything. Ah, jeez, I got trapped. Uh, you have a chance to, like, scout ahead when you're going through the dungeon. And sometimes you'll see a trap on the ground and have a chance to disarm it. But sometimes you'll just wander into it because you don't know it's there. See? That time we scouted. Uh, but we didn't see a trap or anything. Just found an empty room, and now we know there's, like, some battles up ahead. Uh, for any curious, I do definitely recommend this game. Obviously, I'm playing it on stream, so I, I like it some amount, but I've, I've been on this campaign trying to, like, finish a run of the game for, like, I don't know, like, ten in-game weeks, like, two streams per week most weeks. Ah, jeez, more books. I'm not gonna have that Scoutmaster read. Hey, Neko, would you like to read a book today? I know you're here in chat. If not, I guess I'll give it to a cultess? It's like, Bobble Buster's fine. Bobble Buster's been around forever. We have a new person chat? We, we had a raid before. I don't know if any of them are sticking around, but I'm just trying to, like, go over the basics. Uh, I know a lot of people find this game kind of complicated, so it doesn't hurt to every now and then just go over some of the basics. Sure, let's 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 take a read, Neko. Oh, an old journal entry. I mean, it's not particularly helpful, but there you go. Read a book. Well, in case I miss you heading out, hope you have a good night, Neko, and I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, alright, alright. I think we gotta start with flashing daggers so we can start where we're wheedling down that outlaw cutthroat in the back there. You might notice he's got a spooky shadow on him. That means that he is currently stealthed, and I can't attack him directly. But if I can uh, successfully use an area of effect move, it'll still hit him. So I want to use these, sort of like a fan of knives that'll hit a couple different characters. That's some good damage. Uh, I, I think Cat meant new to the game, T-Bone. 
It sounded like you were extremely familiar. So just for the sake of you and maybe anyone else who came over from your channel, just trying to go over some more basics than I usually do. Uh, I think I just want to stab this guy. Can't quite finish him off. Hmm. I can stun the guy who hasn't gone yet. Interesting use of turn. I would like to heal Neko, who got hit by that trap. But instead, just... just three dead. Uh, yeah, so the occultist is weird. Like I said, they have a random chance to heal. Um, whereas there's another, like, primary healing character that just, like, has, like, a base amount of healing they do every time. Uh, the occultist is sort of like a, like a gamble. They can do, like, 0 to 20-something healing as a base. Um, but they also always have a chance to inflict bleed because they're invoking weird occult tentacle things. So, sometimes you'll, like, not heal for anything and then bleed, and it's like, oh, that's, that's not really what I wanted. Um... Strong dagger. I think I just want a flashing daggers again and keep weakening that back guy. Oh, hey, Ice Bunny. I haven't heard from you in a while. I hope you're doing alright. Maybe you get some sleep at some point. That'd be nice. Uh, so I could use Battlefield Medicine to cure Neko's bleed condition. Though I could also use... I don't know, I can't use Plague Grenade because there isn't a valid target for the other part of the area of effect. So I guess I'll just heal them. It is a unintuitive thing about the stealth condition that I always forget. Okay. Uh, let's try to heal Neko again. Nope. Literal zero healing, but no bleed this time, thankfully. Mortality Didn't want to get critically hit. In a single strike. Right, definitely on full healing duty with the occultist, hoping for some higher rolls than we've gotten so far. Uh, Alright, so... Probably just want to like start finishing people off. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Uh, flashing dagger is pretty good. I think that should kill the back guy most of the time. There we go. Continue the onslaught. Destroy then we'll attempt to heal the highwayman. Wow, that's three really bad heals in a row. Two zeros and a three. It can, it can do like a lot of healing. We, we've had characters at this level do like almost like 30 points of healing and we just keep hitting zero it's rough um i think i actually want to stun this guy again because i want another chance at like healing of course what's probably going to happen is i'll kill him anyway this advantage give them no quarter well uh have a good night demolition thanks for stopping by and thanks again for uh the gracious gifts to all the uh the raiders appreciate it uh, hmm. Don't currently have anyone bleeding. I'm just gonna use these torches. The up. way is lit. The path Since is I clear. I was gonna do it before the door anyway. We require only the strength to follow it. I have to camp soon. I might want to camp soon. I'm gonna try and do this battle, but it could go badly. Yeah, this group's not as scary. Um, let's start by using poison darts on the courtier. Courtier? I think it's courtier. Uh, and then we'll do play grenade. Just stack on that poison on those back row characters. Uh, Iron Man will stab the front one. So there's yes, just fewer targets to be uh, hitting us with their attacks. And then we'll do a weird reconstruction on the highwayman. Compassion is a rare Something wrong with the cultess. She's having a rough day. She has my like most powerful healing item, and she just keeps just keeps healing for like less than five, which isn't great. Really need to do some serious healing at some point. Uh, I think we'll try to poison dart the armored one since he's now blocking the other fellow anyway. I think I'm also gonna have Neko start. Doing healing duty and let the others take care of the damage here. Let's stab our armored friend since we're not getting through anyway. One more shot at a weird reconstruction on the highwayman. Wow! Something seems broken. 
Am I rolling like a D2 instead of like a D20? At least we're getting some good dodges since we're not getting any amount of healing at all. It's very troubling. Uh, I think I got a good shot at taking him out with the Throne Dagger. Should do it with the poison he's already got on him. Uh, let's definitely do some battlefield medicine. I think I'm gonna target the Grave Robbers. I'm still hoping at some point a Coltest will get an actual big heal off on the Highwayman. Wow! So our last four heals were like two zero zero zero. That that's some low rolling right there. That's not great. That guy's dead. The other one's like pretty severely weakened. Our life is taken. Still gonna be healing with Neko since the uh, cultist isn't doing us any favors. Just kind of hoping he'd stick around for long enough to try and heal. Um, now no one's bleeding, so I can't make use out of the bandage. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're pretty good on food, so I think I'll like drop the medicinal herbs since they're not usually super useful here in the ruins. And how much are the emeralds worth? Oh, that's like 1500, yeah, I should probably hold on to that stack. Um, maybe the anti venom? The only thing that really uses it is like the alchemist table, which doesn't come up super often. I think that's okay. Good scout chance. Oh, so many room battles here. Um. Jeez. I just wish I had like another small battle or something in one of these hallways so I could spend a little bit more time trying to heal and not just like literally the occultist spent that entire battle doing nothing because every time they attempted to heal. They just actually didn't heal. Let's check the range on that uh, right now. Uh, it's 0 to 19. To roll 0 3 out of 4 times when like 19 is the upper end, like that's, that's, some, that's some bad luck right there. I think I'm going to try to press on a little farther. Um, read a book, Neko. Nope, spooky book. Something Neko did not like. Hey, who here's doing traps? It's a uh, 120% chance? Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, look at that. Definitely disarmed trap. Alrighty, let's fighty. Ooh, double bone courtiers. In the back is hardest for most people to hit, so I'll double, double down on the poison damage there. Neko will probably spend her first turn plague grenading, make sure to try and take them out as best as possible. Gonna have to keep healing with the occultists. Let's target Highwayman and hope for the best. There we go, a critical 12 heal. That's a lot better, even with the necessary bleed effect. Death. We killed one of the stress dealers before they got attacked, so that's a pretty big plus. Hopefully a cultess is uh, back on top of healing duty and is, is just going to actually heal from now on would be nice. Let's see if we can finish off one of these not heavily armored folks. Good critical hit. Receive stress heal. Usually when you land a critical, you heal a little bit of stress as a bonus, which is nice. Um, hmm, how much damage will this do? 7 to 16. That's a pretty good chance of killing this one. There you go. That's a high roll there. Hope this maybe get the turn? No. Uh, let's have Neko heal the bleed off the higher man, and then maybe a cultist can target someone else. I'm actually going to have the highwayman attack that corpse to try and buy a little time to heal. Uh, try to heal yourself this time. Ah, Coltess is feeling selfish today. Saves the 15 point heal for her the first time I tell her to heal herself. 
Thank you for the reminder, Ice Bunny, but I have Mother's Day plans. Once the stream is over, I'm going to pack up some things and head over to my parents' house to celebrate with my mother tonight. Tomorrow's the supermarkets open a lot or not up this early on Sunday. What time? Remind me, Ice Bunny, what time is it there? Poison, I guess? Mostly the same. The pink might have killed it, which I don't actually think I want there. Uh... Oh. It's 6 a.m. Jeez. Oh, we got the emerald stack. That's nice. Horrors. I think I'll leave these 300 gold the for now. Ah, good scout. I was really hoping for that. Good. The next room is empty. I think I will go over there and then camp? I think that is the plan. Hmm. I don't have a key for this. I think it's worth using a key here. Something cool? Oh, jeez, that's gonna be tough. Uh, probably get rid of bandages. How much do I want this snake oil? I have a bunch of better stress healing items. And I'm a little low on money. I think I'll take the sapphire. It is a cool item, though. Uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. I think that's what we're doing. Aha! Uh -huh, fox! Do you need any more torches, despite a little bit of stress here? Give you a scout when we enter this room? Ah, nice! Ooh. Ooh, that scouts the whole rest of the dungeon for me. So... I think I want to head right and down and around and maybe camp after doing the first of the two remaining room battles just because like that will be my main way of healing stress and I'm not actually super duper stressed right now hey free torch and a key Wealth beyond measure I don't think I can get uh, the brave and a secret the room anymore, alike. but that's still pretty cool. I might find a curio, it's like another locked thing. Uh, borders are closed, so no visiting bunny from family anytime soon. Kim said borders are low on priority, but football could open. Yeah, I, I totally hear your frustration, Ice Bunny. I feel like the priorities of a lot of people who are in charge are, like, real weird. I remember, I don't know if this progressed at all, but I remember a couple weeks ago hearing, like, yeah, like, everything's still closed, but we're working really hard to get, like, baseball working on some weird fashion. I'm like, baseball? Why? I'm like, baseball of all things. Uh, anyone want to read a book? Gamer. Uh, maybe Robert could read a book. Beast Slave. Instead of... What would that replace? Eagle Eye. I don't remember what Eagle Eye does. I should log in some of this stuff. Hard Skin and Quick Draw are both decent. I would rather not have them replaced level decent. So maybe I shouldn't even have had the uh, Grave Robber do that. I just know they also have the bad ones. Um, This should work. Nice. And then this is nothing. And some sort of... Hey look! Indeed! Something I can use my key on. That's a lot. Oh, and more emeralds? Wow, that emerald stack is really paying off. Uh, so, what can we do here? I think we're probably in a position where we have enough food to just sort of eat this pile. Let's spread it as much as I can. Let's eat that up. Um, I do need a lot of crest, so I think I will actually replace the sapphire with the gold, since it is worth more than the single sapphire, and I'm not super likely to find another sapphire, but I do want these crests. I think that's a good compromise there. Let's fire off a torch, because we've got a battle coming up. A little closer. Hey, we surprised him. That's nice. 
food. Okay, let's... I mean, they're kind of both stress dealers, really. The front one just takes so much longer to kill. Does that mean I should focus on the back one since it's fewer targets? I think that's probably what that means. Shoot, it's right. Oh, I can't reach that far, though. Dang it. I always... Front highway bait is so confusing. It's so hard to wrap my head around it. Uh, this guy... Does this guy really look like he could bleed? I don't know. I'm gonna try and make him bleed, though, since it says he can bleed. Um... What here? A stun chance? What's stun resist look like? I yeah, just play grenade to f try and finish off the back lady? I think that will actually do enough flight, but it'll do a lot. I want to try and remove the dodge chance from this guy as much as possible, since it already takes so much doing to deal with him. Not really focusing on my one stressed out person, huh? It's not super chill. Uh oh, what does Ren do again? It hurts really Such bad. God. Assault. Yeah, don't be left unanswered. Not, not my favorite. All right, she's dead. That's great. I don't miss her. Let's. Like where the throne is. Good against my. Oh, he is marked though. I think we'll get a cool critical hit. Yeah. Well struck. Didn't feel as much stress as we took from that critical hit, but sure. Let's make him bleed more. Cultist, please do your weird reconstruction. Oh, Scoutmaster Lumpus. Awkward. I have Neko heal off the bleed. Just try and stabilize a little bit after that critical hit. Maybe I should have had her attack since... I guess anything I could have done would have uh, killed him. Their cursed champion falls. Ooh, none of this really does what I want. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Let's make our way over to... Second to last room battle. Then we'll camp. Well, we'll see how this goes. We might camp after this, we might camp after the last one. Right, this is definitely a job for Neko to play grenade. Uh, it's very hard to kill the cultist enchantress in one shot. So I think we double up on the uh, bone courtier. Really want to minimize the number of turns. So let's, let's take a look. Eight damage, but she ended up with ten health, huh? Maybe I'm supposed to artillery them on the first round. I don't want more stress. Artillery always does more damage than I expected to every single time. That was a good, solid hit too. In the uh, I forget what that one's called, the bleeding slice or whatever. That a cultist pulls a, a, a solid heal on uh problem this time. I think Neko's just gonna heal herself. Since no one's bleeding or anything, just trying to go off there. Um the face? So that one never does as much damage as I expect. Uh-oh. It's not super terrible, but the bleed is annoying. The skeleton guy doesn't hit super hard, but I'm gonna finish him off anyway. So now I just need a cultist to do do me a good heal. Double digits, please. Yeah, 17. That's the good stuff. Um I think I'd like to try and stall for a heal chance here, since I think the bleed will probably kill that guy. Let's do a solid heal on. Highwayman. Yeah, 13. Okay. D double bleed. But we'll use Battlefield Medicine to counteract the bleed. Now our team's feeling pretty good. So, just stab him. Yeah, that went pretty well. Ooh, holy blood. A trifling victory. 
but a victory Whoa. nonetheless. So, I think I want holy water for that thing in this room. Is that right? Is this the good one or the bad one? There's two very similar looking fountains. I think this one has to be purified. There's a bunch of curios over there. This this one can't be a treasure chest because if it was a treasure chest, it has a different eye cover. I don't have to go very far, and I'm planning on camping like halfway between where I am. Well, actually, I don't think I need shovels at all. I've scouted all the hallways. Sure. So let's check this. Holy fountain. I mean, it suggests it's just fine, right? What's the name of the one that needs to be purified? I'm pretty sure the description says something like, It was once good, but I wouldn't mess with it. Oh, I just found a small quantity of gold. Sure, whatever, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Carry on. Good. Alright, hopefully that's our last hunger check. So I want to stress heal. Jeez. I'm not even going to read these books. I don't think there's a great chance of it doing what I want at this point, anyway. Um, I'd rather surprise the enemies. I'll use a torch. Alright, this group doesn't look too, too bad. Let's start by poison darting the stress dealer. And then Plague Grenading, which should probably finish them off. Uh, I will do a Wicked Slice on the front guy, because that almost always kills him. And then it's just one fewer dude to hit me in the face. Um, oh no, she's gonna survive that, huh? Guess I should try to stab her there. Yeah, a little bit of overkill, but I think that's fine. Now... I wish you wouldn't. Impale that hits everyone and gets Grievous two critical injury. hits? Well, if I can be fear. honest, I think that's just rude. Um, throw a dagger. Can I finish him off? It has a chance to, but it also has like a 1 in 4 crit chance, which will also do it. Well, he's also blighted, so that'll probably do it. No, let's, let's apply some poison to the front guy. And then maybe Neko could do some backup healing after that. I do want to heal, but I'm also planning on camping immediately after this battle. Uh, so let's... Good, good, zero. Ah, but no meme. No also bleed. Jeez. That guy's dead. That one's really close to dying. Enjoy these darts. Self. Bang. Precision and That's a fun move. I haven't used it all dungeon. Ooh, some torches and rubies. Seize this momentum. Stuff. Push on to the task's end. At this point, I think I want Ruby more than Holy Water. You can have Holy Water. Do I need torches at all? Probably not. I'm gonna get full light after this anyway. In Radiance, may we find victory. Uh, so let's remain. Let's camp. Try and get rid of some of the stress. Huddle Eat a bunch. Together. Furtive and vulnerable. Okay. Rats in a maze. Rats in a maze. So let's try and uh, let's try and gallows humor. Mm, they didn't like the highwayman's joke. How about uh, how about the grave robber's joke? No, oh, I didn't know that it could have different. I didn't know that it could affect different people differently. Huh. 
I thought it would either like heal everyone or harm everyone, not individually check each person. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that's some of the worst luck I've had with that. Uh, that in mind, I don't think I'm getting Neko anywhere near like zero stress, so I think I might just leave that there and not get ambushed because I'd rather not fight again. Do 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 do. Alright, I get to check this. Uh, what's in the thing? Hidden treasures! Some more crests. If only treasure and could basically don't. Ah, uh, you got me, game. I got rid of my anti-venom a while ago. What's the other one? It's books. Alright, I'm gonna leave this place. Room by room. I got that oh weird cursed hole. tapestry. We reclaim I got a pretty ours. good haul here. I got 30 crests. I do need a lot of them these days. Plus a bunch of level ups, and Neko got sick with something. Scoutmaster Lumpus replaced Ruins Explorer with Warren's Tactician, which is like a lateral move, really. Neko has the Agu, which is minus damage, minus speed, minus max HP. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I'm gonna call that one pretty bad. In time, you uh -oh. will know the tragic extent March of tried my to meditate failings. and has a weird negative quirk now. Fuck. I feel like I've been hitting that one a lot. Antiquarian? Seriously? I have like max possible people. No antiquarians? None at all? Also like no level 3 people? You're hurting my feelings, game. I hope you know these. Uh, okay, so... Well, first let's remove all trinkets. Neko, I would like to treat the Agu. Uh, Scoutmaster Lumpus. I would like to lock in hard skinned. Yeah. Uh, Cortez. Got. My speed's like annoying. I don't know if I want to spend all that money on it. That was pretty good. I don't know if it's quite worth locking in. Guess I'll have a Coltest flagellate. Feel a little bit of stress. It's expensive. Can I upgrade that? Do I want to upgrade that? Eh, this is the one I really want to upgrade, but I need. Uh, busts. Enough busts I probably don't want to, like, do the shuffle resource thing. Uh, let's upgrade... Oh, that only gives me a new slot. It doesn't make it any cheaper. Eh, I guess I'll just leave it. Uh, anyone else has, like, stuff to do? Not really people who have like good quirks to lock in or something it's something i feel like i should be checking more than i am <laughs> already locked in your stuff you're, you're in good shape <laughs> the dodge on hope is pretty good it's not like a ton of things that are like great for vestal because like a lot of the good ones are like damage and hit based uh, so yeah well uh Lock in evasive. Okay, so let's go check out what we might do. A lot of low level options or anything, not that I'm specifically looking for them. Still not quite feeling up to taking on the swine god. So I have like three copies of Berserk Mask, and I just don't care about it to begin with. Um level five to get over to damage thing that like really cuts your HP. Oh, what is this one? Ancestor Signet Ring plus accuracy plus protect. Wow, that one's pretty cool. Uh, do we have bad enough dudes for level 5? I think we could put together something. First, I kind of want to check something. Let's just like throw sprinkles on here. And I can bring her to level 5 stuff. She's not going to say, like, that's beneath me. 
It's consistent with the way the other level ups work, but I wasn't sure. So that's good to know. Uh, let's bring Jimenez, probably. I don't have a ton of options. Um, either Jazz or Quincy. Gonna bring Crash. I don't know if that's good or bad. No, but let's uh, let's put Crash in third position. So Arbalest can do all the Arbalest stuff, and we have options for him if we want them. And then who's the other person I want? Who I brought? Oh no, I don't actually want Sprinkles. I probably want Sombe and like. Yes. So the back two have options for hitting the back two. Uh, if I give, if I do like the same setup I used for the other Hellion today, I can hit basically all positions with her. Do that. Also, any of you guys still need equipment? Some of you do. It's expensive, but it's usually worth it. Man, the, the, just the art for like the the maxed out equipment looks super cool. It really gives a sense that like these are like epic level heroes or whatever. Uh, okay, and then upgrade skills. That'll be expensive. Don't think I want him to be in like the intimidate position. So what's the other move I want him to have? Revenge, let's take more damage and buff. Which only works from first position. No, I don't really care. What whatever you have is the other one is fine. You know what? I'll put on intimidate in case I find myself in a position where I like need to de-stealth someone or something but i generally want zombie to be in first position so she can iron swan problematic things in the back if she has to Fresh. wow we've done a lot with you um so i definitely want him to have the actual mark move equipped what other moves do I want Crash to have? Um, versus Eldritch. Where am I going to? The Cove? I just want to double check. No, I'm going to the Ruins. So in that case, I don't care about like the bonus Eldritch damage so much. Um, I definitely want Abyssal Artillery and Weird Reconstruction and the Hex. So it's just a question of, like, Stab versus Tentacle. And I think the way this team works, it just, like, distributes damage, and I want to have better options for, like, finishing stuff off, and I think the Stab will be better for that. Um... March the Arbalest. Um, maybe I want to have Rallying Flare? To deal with uh, stealth. Clear stun and marked target. Oh, other heroes. Okay, wow, that's actually really interesting. I can't remember it having those other kind of abilities. So... the ability of your mark move? Yours is minus dodge. Hers is also minus dodge. Hers is way better at it. But he's like a lot faster and will usually go before her, so I think it kind of makes sense to give him the mark move. 
I definitely want Sniper Shot. I probably want Battlefield Bandage for similar reasons to, like, last time where Neko needed to, like, hold down the fort. So, like... Flare Bandage, and then... Suppressing Fire is sometimes helpful. Mm. Yeah, just leave her with the mark in case she needs it. Just don't have the suppressing fire. Seems fine. Jumping skills. Most of these look good. Zombie could probably stand to have some of hers changed, but I don't know if I want to spend money on it. Everyone else looks like they've already done it four of them. Um, oh, I do kind of want to get her the bleed move. So... It's a good, it's a good noise. Um... I don't really have anyone who does shuffle stuff. I kind of think I just want to give her Wicked Hack, Iron Swan, and If It Bleeds, and then she has Adrenaline Rush uh, to cure her own bleed if if Kraj is sort of doing some rough stuff with the heals. This seems like a little bit insulated from the problems we were having last time, where, like, both of our frontline people can do some amount of self-healing, Zombie can remove the bleed effect, um... March can heal, has good, like, camping healing skills. Um, just gotta do trinkets. Creative skills, skills? No, that was something I did. Yeah, I definitely can't, like, upgrade everyone's skills. I will upgrade... Sniper Shot. I'll upgrade this, like, a couple times since it's, like, super low level. one more has some like stress healing ability which I guess is kind of cool uh yeah so then trinkets um so they probably just wants to hit very hard since I don't have a dedicated like stress healer in the form of jester or something I probably don't want to just like stack like damage boost plus stress but, um... Does this do accuracy? No. I wish there were, like, slightly better ways to, like, sort stuff. I'd love to, like, look for a thing like boost to accuracy to, uh, check with Leper. Uh, any of these increase accuracy in meaningful ways? so much. I think we had one at one point that we lost. Maybe? Maybe position one is not super helpful. Maybe this is the... Maybe this does some accuracy. You know, I think I will give him that and pen. I will uh, give a little bit of a more balanced loadout to uh, Hellion. I think I'm more concerned about stress in general, so... I think we'll do it that way. Um, Cultist gets the very easy heal loadout. Oh, I'm holding the right trigger, so I'm scrolling in the wrong way. Uh, March wants. <laughs> the only arbalest items I have are like super poop. There's one that like increases their healing, which like sometimes I wish I had, even though I don't think it's very good. Uh, I think it's like something like this. Increase accuracy, yeah. Just like do the stuff I gave Neko last time. That worked out. Okay, uh, so that'll be that. 
So we're very low on might. We'll try to get some next time and really hope that over the next couple of in-game weeks we get uh, a good shot at a uh, low-level antiquarian. Just so we can like do that full-on antiquarian run and see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, next time I think we will take on... This long level five. Uh, so, oh, it's an explore 90%. I'm used to it being called Scout, but I'm not seeing Scout listed anywhere. So we'll do a long Scout and explore 90% of the rooms, trying to get this plus accuracy plus protect item that I think will be really cool. Uh, it'll give us a bunch of paintings we don't need, but it will also give us a bunch of money, which we definitely do need. Uh, I think that'll be a good balance. Hopefully, that goes well like our first non-boss level 5 run went today. Our first level 5 attempt at a boss, obviously, went very badly. But, uh, I think we're starting to get the hang of the high difficulty thing. I think we, I think I just need to... No. I'm not exactly sure what strategy I can do differently for the Swine God, but it's gonna be tough. It's clearly gonna be a challenge. Uh, anyway, thanks to all of those of you watching. Uh, I don't know if any of the Raiders are still here, but uh, thanks again to T-Bone for the raid and for anyone uh, coming to check out the channel. Thanks to Demolition, who left a little bit earlier for his gift subs. I do appreciate that, and I'm sure everyone who uh, came over from the other stream appreciated it, too. There's just one final order of business for the stream. As you know, there's a secret Squirtle in place somewhere on this couch behind me. And if you're new, there's a secret Squirtle hidden somewhere on this couch behind me. And it is your job as a viewer of the stream who has made it to the end of the stream to try and figure out where the Squirtle is hiding. I'll admit today I made it fairly challenging. So, can you figure out what that means? I'll give you a moment while I enjoy this 100% juice apple. Which is literally the name of the product at the grocery store. It's not trying to be funny. Behind Bear Friend? Um, well, that was where it was last night. Do you think I would be so sneaky as to hide it in the same place twice? That would be pretty... That would be pretty sneaky. Under the Pokeballs, perhaps. Any other guesses? I think a lot of people tuned out. It's late on a Saturday. It's a little bit later than I've been ending recently. I've been trying to keep uh, streams, like, as close as possible to three hours. Give people... Something to watch, but not make it feel like a slog by the end. Uh, watching back some of my other Darkest Dungeon videos, I'm like, you know what? It feels a little bit long when it gets close to four hours. That is true. All right, let's check it out. So, Bear Friend. I don't know how structurally integral this guy is today, but we'll give it a shot. Not nothing back there. Couldn't even find a tricky thing. I can sort of move this narwhal and exhibit with nothing back there. Under the Pokeballs? Well, let's see. Um, ball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball. Nah, nothing hiding back there today. But I will say that's a very close guess because inside this narwhal head is actually. An entire squirt. Normally I leave something in there so it keeps its shape and remains a giant narwhal friend for the stream. But uh, this time I put a squirtle in there. And you might not even tell the difference. Uh, yes, thanks again to uh, everybody watching, uh, especially raiders and regulars alike, really. Everyone is welcome and greatly appreciated. Um, That'll be it for streams this week. I'll be back on Thursday. We'll still be playing the German adventure game known as Truber Brook. I don't know how much longer that'll go. I think it'll probably... I don't think we'll finish it this week, I guess, is the way I would put it. I feel like there's probably a little bit more to the game than that. But we're making pretty good progress through it, and God, it's just such a weird game. Got a, got a couple of possible ideas for a game to follow that up. Uh, we'll also see how long it takes to complete Darkest Dungeon, if we actually ever get there. Uh, I hope we do. I would very much like to finish the game, even though it's like a very 
I have it listed as like vanilla on uh, YouTube for the VODs. Like they, they've released some DLC that makes the game harder. Uh, I don't know that I enjoy that as much. Not that like I'm against challenge. I just like, I think the specific elements that they add aren't uh, as fun for me personally. Um, but yeah, uh, so Trooper Brook Thursday, Darkest Dungeon next Friday and Saturday is the plan as it's been for a little while. Uh, everybody stay safe take care of each other uh, appreciate you watching hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and the week until i see you next uh, wish me luck i know that my upcoming week is just it's not it's gonna be really painful and bad and unpleasant um but for now thank you so much for being here thanks for being you and i hope to see you again soon uh, signing off for some more darkest dungeon and hey no one died again It's good stuff. All right, I'll catch you later, guys. Have a good one.